check. Should have that shortly. Check one, two, three, four. Good morning. Okay, we have audio, which is obviously a very good thing, and our first interruption just happened. Mike, if you please. <laughs> Experiencing some interruptions this evening. There, there was a bit of a miscommunication with our food, so with this. Being delivered right now. Um, and there will be a slight interruption in a little bit as Megan is a little bit late, so we'll sort that out when we get there. And then if the audio is a little bit hazy, um, it is currently raining where we are playing, so polish that. And we've got a big um, mess of red hair passing through the camera for, uh, for a souvenir. <laughs> well, thank you, Picasso's. Um, and thank you, I'm fairly well known there, so they actually trust me when I say that. Hey, you guys are So, um, in other minor announcements, um, we are once again drinking our uh, preferred, well, not we, I, because um, unfortunately we cannot afford to make it we yet. Please and uh, we're, we're still hoping that Dremens will make enough money that they'll actually be able to give us some beer. So, but yeah, Dremens, breweries, um, if you want good local beer, then stop by them. They're, um, if you're on YouTube, their link is in the video description. If you're on Twitch, we'll... I should actually just post the link in the chat now that I think about it. It's probably a good idea. Um, so I'll do that once I've poured my beer, because... Well, priorities! <laughs> James. Yeah. So, uh, tonight's um, specific beer is the Goblin Spitter, which I am still... A year after they decided to bring it back, very happy that they did because this is hands down one of my favorites. It is overall a very good English bitter ale with, I think, a very Dungeons and Dragons appropriate image. A goblin, yes. Of it. Although goblin based on English folklore, and not the uh, small green monster that we're all used to. So for Twitch, let me quickly make a plan to paste the um, their yeah, I can find it now. I'm gonna sit down for this might be easier. Be seated. If you only type in two letters, um, Ravens is very close to Drow. In case you didn't notice. There. I, I, I just figured that out when I typed in VR and um, I, I got Drow, not Ravens. So, the link is in the chat on Twitch. On YouTube, it should be in the video description. Double check. Yes, it is there. So, if you want good beer, go give them a visit. Um, they are based here in Pretoria in Centurion. School. Sure. So, last we left off. The Solomon, the eight of you, seven of you, no, four, four, four actual players plus two kobolds and a um, small add-on, well, draws not necessarily small, but seven of you, step out of a portal onto the island Lithia in Adamor. Just as the sun came up the following morning, 
you are currently fairly high up on the island of Glykia, so um, for those of you not aware, the island of Glykia, if, if you're coming in from the west side, so opposite where the sun is coming up, it is a cliff that even um, 28 years ago when the Isles of Admora was first discovered, the cliffs started turning into a green crystal and has since become known as the Crystal Cliffs. So the cliffs rise up on the western side, on the in, up from the ocean, small crescent island, and then slopes down on the eastern side back into the ocean. On that slope there is a fairly large forest you are just above that forest, able to look out over the ocean and the various islands that makes up, make up the Isles of Adamor. Um, it was directly in front of you, slightly to the right you see the outline of the volcano that makes up the main island, Adamor. Um, just to the left of that, you see the raggedy mountains of Wyvern Bank. Even further to the left, you see the small island group of, that is, the Kaiskar Archipelago, with some smaller other islands that you have not yet explored um, between you and Adamor and Adamor to the left. It is morning. Sun is starting to come up. What is it that you wish to do? Make it longer so I can. So, uh, Demogen will just stare out at all the green of the forest in an absolute amazement. His, his, his jaw pretty much dropping to his chest. And he'll just stand there like. Never seen green before. No. Welcome. <laughs> I, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm glad to be back on <laughs> out of the other. Yes, it was quite tiresome. Where does all this come from? Uh, the ground. So what do you mean? I don't know what you mean by where it's coming from. The plants. The the green. The plants. I've land. heard of trees, but I've never, never really? seen them. Here they are. Why do some of them look different? Are they different species? Are they like creatures? Yes, uh, no. The, the plants have different species, so not entirely like or unlike creatures. Mm -hmm. okay. Self has inspiration. They don't have cognitive abilities as far as we know. It's just uh, an or organism, not even an organism, it's just plants. <laughs> so, Terrigen will walk up to the nearest tree and just kind of touch it, like get a feel for the bark and like the grass, he'll, he'll pick a piece of grass and smell it and bite it a little bit. And really confused with what's you going on in front of it. You feel a very rough texture as you place your hand on the tree. But there's no response from the tree itself. Is this... And it'll take a piece of bark and pull at it. Is this its skin? How... It is... You could say that. It is its protective layer. What are they used for? Many for trees. Or do, are, do they have use or trees, bark? Uh, trees have use as a, a method of construction. Life. Or building houses, boats, various different things. Um, I, I have, and I take out my bad news, I have a wooden stock made from trees. Um, Firewood, fire, obviously. 
And he'll take off that bow of his and look and say, this is made from a tree. Yes. Hmm. It's not bad, but it's not good as ours. So where do you use bone? Bones? Yes. Where or when do you use bones? In what do you use your bones? Bone meal to help trees grow. I don't know about so you grind up your dead and um, use them. Sorry, you've got the bone after joining part. The bow. After yeah. Part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, well, mostly we just bury the dead. Yeah. How does that work? You we dig a hole, dig a hole and, and we place them in the hole and we close the hole. Well, usually we put them in some sort of casket, or a <laughs> wooden box. You waste resources like that. It's a way to pay respects to the dead, I suppose. The dead don't care. Well, they're dead. <laughs> they're <laughs> dead. Nice. So why would you waste resources like that? Because there's enough resources elsewhere. Yeah, I don't think the trees but are going to go away. But don't, you, you know, don't take me on face value for doing these things. I have never, will never, and do not condone such idiotic practices. Our dead get recycled back into the mechanism. That is the whole part upkeep. Of, of the Sioux curators. We also use the bones of our dead for weapons. Weapons, arrows, mm. knives. We don't, we don't waste resources. But where did you say you were from that you don't know trees or would have to use your dead in such ways? The Great Suruki Desert. The desert. Um, no. you, you will know it more as the Sea of Shifting Sands. The, uh, the, the Great mm. Sea of Shifting Sands. I see. Well, something you might not know is trees are a renewable resource. Yeah, so you um, black can, is there any um, nuts or yeah. seeds or anything I can just stretch out and grab? Um, so, so the forest floor itself, mm. well, even at the edge where you are standing, there are some acorns and some lying about. There are also some small budding trees still popping up from the ground that's not fully grown yet. Okay, well I'll bend down and pick up an acorn. This <coughs> is the seed of a tree. You plant this and it grows into that. But after a while, not instantly. No, yes, years. Unless we have a druid. <coughs> but hence why bone meal is used. But usually it's more from <coughs> So, Timogen will just stand there flabbergasted and listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> explaining, <laughs> explaining how <laughs> trees grow. Oh, so you take the seed, put the seed in. Hmm? Long yeah. um, but usually the bones are from uh, animals that have been used for food. And not by the dead of acquaintances. Most of it just decompensates into the ground. So with, such, with such an ab uh, abundance of, of resources, surely you must have great lands. Mm, I myself haven't made too many, but mm, great cities and such. How, how many cities? Well, I know of uh, two that I've myself at all, unless we're looking at the underdark, but I know of one major one and one from the past. And, and many, many creatures in them? How many creatures? Uh, 50, wild, wild creatures or yeah, well, you mean in terms of living? Living humans. Oh, thousands. Th thousands, thousands. Yes, very big. Yes. 
my guild, for instance, is in one of these cities, and my guild already has quite a few members, I would assume. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but well, now, <laughs> would you like to know? <laughs> at the docks alone, you'll find at least a hundred people. So, at, at, at this point, um, due to the recollection you've experienced while still in the Underdark, you are acutely aware of more than just two cities. Okay. Um, you know, three. So the, the, the main city that you are aware of based on your recent experiences is this new river gate. However, you are also aware of the largest port on the Lanak, known as Mornhaven. Called such due to one of the large battles occurring there with the transition between the Elven and the Dwarven Ages, so approximately three and a half thousand years ago. Um, another not city as such that you are aware of also in the, the Blenang is Lucarna Borgir, which is a large dwarven fortress that to some extent functions like a city, although a, a much smaller scale city. Is um, that not in the Dragon Mountains? So so that, okay. that is just on Lucarna Borgir. Okay. Um so so not Dragon Mountains as such. Okay. But I would have there yeah, this is I was referring to Dwarven okay. city in, in that regard. I so would have assumed. F f well, uh, uh, I haven't finalized the, the, the underground Dwarven city in the Dragon Mountains yet. Mm. As yet. Um, I'm still bu busy building my work, so um, sorry about that. Things happen. Um, you are also familiar, although you've had very little direct contact with um, the other continent, the other large continent on Araba, mm. known as Sahuk which is what uh, Timogen is talking about. So you are faintly, due to the recently reacquired memories, aware of the Sea of Shift Sands, as well as the two primary cities on Saruk, um, Al Damsuk and Al um, Tolmur. I remember correctly, I don't have the map directly in front of me now. Um, I'll, I'll confirm that in the future. Um, the Al Damasuk being the primary or main city of Saluk in terms of trade and where it's located, um, sometimes mm. called the um, City of Water. Partially due to its uh, how close it is to the to various waters itself, it is on the main delta of the Iteru River, and which leads out into the oceans. Um, but also due to the turquoise coloring of a lot of the roofs, as well as some of the turquoise stone being mined close by. Um, and the other city, Al Tamura, I'll confirm that name in the future, I don't have that on hand, is um, more a, a palm beaches, um, kind of vacation destination, what we would think of in terms of today, very peaceful, very open, very calm seas on the western banks of so. So you are aware at least of what Timogen is talking about when he is speaking of the Sea of Shifting Sands and the lack of vegetation yeah. that he would have experienced um, mm. coming from there. And then obviously the, the underground city of on, on the Dragon Mountains as well as some of the larger cities on the Lenac itself. Although this is still very fresh yeah. in terms as as that's memory is you are where you had, but you recently reacquired them. So you're kind of still sorting through all the information. Mm. So jumbled up. 
We don't know <coughs> roughly about how many people would be in Rivergate. Rivergate, you're probably looking at somewhere between about three and five thousand people maximum. Mm. It, it, it's it's the capital city of um, Oslo Adamor, mm -hmm. and it is hands down the largest city on the island groups. But when compared to the large cities on the Lenang and mm -hmm. so it's actually a very small city in fact. Mm. Yes, did you catch all of that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I just told you. Divergent court walls, walls, walls <laughs> explanation. Yeah. Yes, 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 good. <laughs> Are they more like me? Um, do you have a word for it? Yeah, yes. Yes. So I'm assuming they are more like me. Yes. Have we encountered two things? Yeah. Where's your notes? I know we. I know we've encountered two things before. Temujin doesn't. <laughs> Zerek? The tiefling in the underground in Rivergate, where you left the majority of your necronium. The shopkeep. I mean, Does it I just I ring I a bell? Is was it? I gave him one barrel. Yeah, no, I actually left several barrels. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> so he's probably sitting on well, a, a noob. <laughs> a few noobs. And then okay. isn't there there that one shopkeep? The, the I think from yeah. The yeah. She she's also a, a tiefling. Mm. So yes, you yes. you come across several tieflings within the span of this mm -hmm. campaign alone. So in Adam yes. itself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there are more. <laughs> and are they all treated with disdain, distrust? Only if they gave cause to be. Much more forgiving then. Um, <laughs> there is something of everything up here. Yeah. So, Damogen will kind of just, at this stage, try to focus on something he knows and look down at his armor and all the small cuts and bruises that he has stole. May I suggest maybe that I sit down and have a rest? If you so wish. I would suggest we find... Well, I mean, uh, this road can be hazardous. I don't know exactly where we are. So... <coughs> it might be good for us to find some civilization, but I may raise first. I know nothing of this place, then I will follow you. <laughs> yes, I think it's mighty wise to take a race, purely for the thought of bandits on our road, which would not go well. Before we race, what's the blue on the horizon? The ocean? Mm, yes, the ocean. That is what? Water. Water. <laughs> For King Street's head. <laughs> Just <laughs> turned on. <laughs> it's like, it's water. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Google. <laughs> it's like, you rang. <laughs> you rang. Or, all, all of it. Yes. Oh, this is going to be interesting. The <laughs> vast majority of the surface of this world is water. And is it shallow? Can you wade it like the river? Oh, not at all. <laughs> not, not even remotely. <laughs> it is quite so deep, in fact, that if you were to reach the bottom, sunlight will not reach you. I, 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 interesting thought. Do you, do you want to inform him of um, the entire plane of existence made up of water? <laughs> Known as Vatenheim? Uh, uh, we not yet. <laughs> <laughs> let's, yeah, let's keep that for him to like, oh, oh, so there's more? <laughs> so at this stage, Demogen has like slightly elvish pointed ears, and you'll just see little bits of smoke coming out as he tries to figure this shit out, <laughs> enveloping his horns a little bit in confusion. Like. And creatures 
of the... Yeah, we fought one. What, you mean in the ocean? Yes. Oh, large. Yeah, and we fought one. Very. very. <laughs> Almost took down a whole ship. Ship. Oh, a vessel on which to sail on the water. His vessel. <laughs> Think of it as a floating house. <laughs> but like three stories and a mansion. So at this stage, Demogen just sits down. <laughs> yes, I think take a rest and we'll. He, he, he just sits ocean. down and he's quiet. As we'll shit. introduce you to the ocean when <laughs> we get there. You take a rest first. Baby steps. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Baby steps. Let's blow some fucking minds. <laughs> he's next quest. He's to blow up the ocean. Love <laughs> Go smack. Um. So he, he'll sit down and take out. The, the sword that he found and just something familiar just, just kind of clean it though there's nothing to clean just trying to focus his mind can I attune to it? you want to? I'd like to attune so, to so, so you, you do spend an hour doing this so he'll just sit there focusing on his weapon for an hour so at, at this point time. everyone will have to take a short rest unless you guys want to do something else specifically um, also going to reach you to back. I can thirteen. So Score thir no, I'm just thinking this artificer thirteen hit die one d eight plus four total thirteen. I assume that's how many long short rests I can take. So so and so how many times I can recoup? Well, not quite. So so you get in between long rests. When you take a short rest, you can take a maximum of 13 hit dice um, in order to heal yourself. Mm. So you don't need to take all of them, but you do get 13 because of your level. Now, it doesn't mean you've got 13 one hour rests. Mm. You can take, say, seven in this short rest, and then in a few hours' yes. time, and take another short rest. You take the last six, okay. but you get a maximum of 13. I have never. You can take so done this on a short rest before. So. You, you, you can take all 13 in a single short rest should you wish to do so. But you physically need to roll that dice in order to see how much you mm. heal back up in during your short rest. Uh, the, 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 the thing rolled it for me. The? The app rolled it for me when I took a short rest. Mm. You can tick a box that says apply dice roll. Okay. So you can uncheck it as well if you'd like. Fine. You, you, you can let the app do roll dice for you if you really don't want to roll dice yourself. <laughs> I don't have many dice for now. Um, <coughs> DM, do you have access to a docent on the inventory? Quite possibly. I haven't had the opportunity to look um, the past two weeks. It has been a little bit chaotic in my life. So Fine, I'll just put up a tab for docent on here as well. Mm -hmm. I think I see. Where do you want it? Equipment, backpack, one of your bag of holdings, or in a pouch of the what's it? Two, three, it four, five, six, seven <laughs> pouches you have. <laughs> I think it'll have to be equipment because I'll have to have it equipped. Seeing as it's um, embedded in my chest. If you refresh, then it should. Show up. And we have to. Are you going to talk for it, or is it just going to silently give me advice? <laughs> well, I mean, if, even if it silently gives you advice, I'm, I'm still going to have to tell you what it does. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, well I, like I said, the past two weeks have been a little mm. bit crazy in my life, so I haven't actually, unfortunately, been able to give as much attention to this particular campaign as I should have. So, sorry about that. Um, shit happens. So, but yeah, the, the, the version has been added. Um, let me... Well, I am at it. I think 
about these things. Um, equipment or backpack? Or the friend uh, with Equipment. Oh, wait, I see I already added it. Yeah. My bad. Mine's added and attuned. Mine as well. I just need the, that poison bow that he found. Send me a WhatsApp at around about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I sent you a WhatsApp around 10 o'clock this morning as well, so I did. Specifying that? Yes. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll repeat the message tomorrow. If any of you ever think about starting your own business, um, the best advice I can give you is don't. <laughs> Yep. Uh, it, it, it's a hell of a lot more work than most people realize. <sighs> yeah. So it, it's all of the fun stuff plus all of that shit stuff. And you have to do everything. Yes. For like the first five years. At least. Can you, can you so choose me one additional language that my docent knows? <coughs> <laughs> that is an interesting one. <coughs> Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> it knows it knows common, giant, and one d four additional languages. So I rolled a one, so push up for me. But so one additional language, which puts me in the fortunate position of having three open language slots on the person, which it can learn after hearing it, which is very. Good. Mm. He wants to speak to everybody. <laughs> Uh, common and Giant. Well, the docent knows Common and Giant. I know Common, Dwarvish, and Halfling. Um, I'm going to say Elvish. Shits and giggles. Yeah. I'm just going to send it to you for now to keep it on this. just need to tune to it as well and you did spend the time with it. So you would be attuned. Mm -hmm. So you click on tune or tune while he's attuning to the thought. Well, then, d during the time you're still in the underdark, uh, having places there, walking around, going through the memories, that's the time that you ended up tuning to it. Okay. Um, but that it doesn't really make sense to go through all that and then it's like, oh, okay, fine, I'll attune to it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be pointless. <laughs> so, you, you attune to the sword. Do you attune to your sword? Yes. Um, just, just take note, if you do attune to the something then you do not get the other benefits of the short person. Just bear that in mind. Yeah. So you don't get the healing benefit well. Because no. you, you, you spend an hour focusing on the object itself, you don't actually spend an hour resting. So I am down back to So sorry sorry about that. At least that's at how I interpret the rules. So that's how we're Yeah playing. but you're DM so Yeah that's what I said that's how we're playing it. So um are you bloody, by the way? Very. Oh, well, then I'll, while we're resting, I would see that his bl he is bloody, I assume. Oh, medicine check for me. While we're at it. 
Okay. Less three if you're wondering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So you think Dimogen's fine? <laughs> to be fair, his red skin might hide the blood stains. <laughs> All that and um, being mechanical, he does not necessarily always understand how biologicals take damage. <laughs> Show damage to be more accurate. Yeah. <laughs> how are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> like how I does this make you feel? <laughs> like I got hit. By a sandworm. Is that a good thing? No. Oh. Uh -uh. This is um, Dungeons and Dragons, not doing just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's the shifting side sea of sand! You cannot have a desert without a sandworm. <laughs> it's, it's kind <laughs> of compulsory. Do you require healing? Probably. I would like some too. Oh, good, we have a cleric. Terry, <laughs> 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 please heal us. I'm not sure how much spells she has left for something like that. Let me double check. I, I, I'm not going to make any um, assumptions. Assumptions. No, what they say well, about I mean, she, she's got four level one spell slots, two level four, and one level five, and one level six spell slots left. She said she'll be here in about 10 minutes, so... It's fine. We'll, we'll, let, we'll let not abuse her. Yeah, let's wait for that. Um, so Temujin will just, at this point, after you ask him, he'll just get up and be like, uh, my lover. Ooh. Why do I feel like I'll be pissing blood for a month? Because someone threw a bloody explosive rock in our faces again. Um, would... A healing potion help you? What's that? <laughs> oh, my dear fellow. <laughs> <laughs> How many would you like? <laughs> uh, I, I give him a bottle of greater healing potion. So uh, you drink it. He'll he'll just look at this and be like, so I. So just. just you just it. drink it. You just consume it in and one go. It does. Uh, drink it and find out. Trust me, it works. Just don't pick. You know, and Demogen will drink the, the potion of rare to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're going to roll for it. Uh, you can roll for it, I will roll for it. Mm -hmm. Dean will go catch his special health dice. Them healthy ones. Give, give, give to the man and drink the potion. How many is the uh, potion of Gaiti? It's, it's written on the bottle. <laughs> this is the first time I actually use one. It's 44 plus 4. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling now? Ah, here's another one. <laughs> so that is 3. Now it's the meth. 7, 8, 9, 13. So that's 17. Mm -hmm. So, Demogen will look absolutely bewildered at this. What is the sensation that he would feel at something like a healing version? It, it's kind of a warmth spreading through your body that is, is attracted to the places where your wounds are located. So, for instance, if you have a cut in your arm, you'll feel warmth coming up from inside you and it's spreading to that cut in your arm. And if you look at that cut, then you'll notice that the, the flesh itself just comes together and stitches back and the warmth dissipates, leaving no scar. So he will absolutely freak the fuck out. You'll, you'll see his eyes are bewildered, he kinda, his hand is kinda on his sword, he's, he's very on edge, like... Whoa, hit. calm down buddy, calm down. It's just Don't healing. you feel better? I... Mike, that might be me. No, no, never mind. Yeah, Mike. Never mind. 
I, I just wanted to get you wet. I'll pay it. Uh, I, I do, but is this normal? Yes, but is it potion of healing? And you have more of those. So we have yes. a lot more. <laughs> we could sell those. Um, no. I bought them for a reason. You can. They make those. Oh yes, at the yes. shops. <laughs> yes. And Very once nice. again, he'll just remain. I must take you to the city when we get there for a little tour. Okay. Just I'll even take you to the other tea room, you know. Please. He's a bit crazy, though. So uh, if he, if he is still ab alive. Hmm? Sorry, right. I just noticed that our video paused. It's audio. No. Visuals. Bam, bam, bam. Good. If the video is on the stream, me face. Look at your face. Hi. How are you doing? Double check for my face. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Technical difficulties. One day when we're big, we'll be able to afford the expensive equipment. Uh, the good stuff. You Theoretically, know. gives less problems. No, I'll take te technical difficulties over hardware difficulties in time. Yeah. My, my American pie. Mechanical na, difficulties na, na, are na, 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 na. Side. I can actually see my face. Look at them face. Look at uh, look at them cheeks. <laughs> And we have video again. Talking oh, back. <laughs> so, Timmy <laughs> Jim looking at his R and R did not appear on stream. Sorry about that. Apparently, for some reason, the stuff just kind of randomly decided to stop streaming there. We blame the D and D ghost. <laughs> um, ghost of D and D past. Yes. Um, so, Tim, just yes, please take me to. Me. Mm. So but first we have to find a way to get there. So, 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 when you finish your short rest, um, Timogen, you and Isla, who is not yet here, both notice to the south, there is some smoke rising into the clear early morning sky. That over there. Master will. To the south. Mm -hmm. Smoke. Sapleman, one of these cities you speak of, raiders, shall we investigate? Oh, and you and all of these? Yes. Uh, are you feeling good enough for a fight, or...? At this stage it's all I know, so let's do it. Or would you like some more healing? If what? you have more of that magical liquid. Yes. Is that the only liquid that you consume? Okay, or do you have ale? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dear fellow. No, 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 no. Stick to the healing potion. Oh, I'll treat I'll you. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to the healing potion. Trust me. I will treat you to something very nice when we get back to my, to my uh, uh, guild. Oh, yeah. No, don't you worry. If... If fleshly delights is what you seek, you have come to the right lands. Um, so I assume, or not assume, so I have... Presumed. <laughs> no, seen, I guess. Sounds intriguing, very well, but first let's, let's get back to your guild. What, what is a guild? Uh, like a tribe? Not no. entirely, it's more of a business. <laughs> like a shop. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, we can hire mercenaries. People to do jobs, bidding, killing, whatever you see. It's essentially a house for a job board. We'll have to get into that later, as with so many other things. 
Oh, uh, trust me, you're gonna see a lot of weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> if freaking trees interest you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if if you have another of those marvelous yes liquids, no. then I would gladly. I give him another greater question. Om op een van die focus te trappen die aandacht aan de sleep is. check out this book. So, I don't know why this is happening, but apparently the connection between the camera and the laptop and the software that we're using is a bit of a struggle, so I'm just going to pay more careful attention to that because I see it does tend to drop repeatedly throughout the evening. That's the second time I dropped now. Mm. Might be the weather. It, it's, it's not supposed to influence a Wi Fi connection where it, it uses Wi Fi between the camera going to the router to the laptop and not actually using any um, other bandwidth. Yeah. It, it doesn't really make sense. So, um, however, ha have, have you taken out the, the, the other fluid that you? generally give to people? No. Not yet. <laughs> I will treat it, treat him to it if we get back to the guild. I would like to very much not carry him to the guild. There's no necessary guarantees. I mean, from where you are. Could you roll me a survival check? If you don't mind. And if you do mind, roll it anyway. But at this point, <laughs> <laughs> 13. So, based on your travel experience between the islands, um, you are aware that when you, the moment you do charter a ship from Pekia, where you are currently, it will take at least two days for you to get back to River Gate. So, you don't necessarily have to wait until um, you reach the guild. You could potentially um, find civilization. Use your uh, initiation drink the moment you, you charter a ship. But yeah, that's obviously up to you. Here, DM trying to poison my fellow comrades. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm down for it though. Right. I'm, I'm just giving you some ideas, you know. I'm going to take them. Have you drank your second version? Yes. Yes. And still, the face like a boy in a candy shop. It's an <laughs> utter amazement. Cool. Let's head out. Sorry. How are you? Okay. Yeah, I'll sit like. Okay. Let's go. And uh, go. Megan says yes, and Shadow says yes, <laughs> and Morgan Kaka just following. Yeah, well, they're, 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 g they're gonna follow the um, nice, soft, drow adoptive mo mother. Yep. So, um, okay, Megan said she is here in five minutes, and she requested a blanket because it's a little bit chilly where we are, considering the um, rainy weather. So I'm quickly going to grab that. I'll wait for another day. Um, she should be here momentarily, and then we can enter into the next phase the moment we are <coughs> all present. Damn it, Megan. Did you put the stream on pause, or is it still running? No, it's still running, so I mean... So explain to Damage, and did you, did you want me to pause it? 
I think intermission might be in order. I don't actually have an intermission screen. Uh, well so then, we're, you guys... We're, 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 we're working on this, guys. <laughs> You'll have to be entertained by me, thank you very much. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll just put back up the starting soon screen again. Six three six three steps. Those are rookie numbers. Yep. Hey, we have a Megan. Hi. I can confidently tell all of you it's pouring from here to Joburg. I I would believe you because I drove here in the pouring rain. So 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 are we allowed to finally continue? Hey guys, great session. Let's go. Cool. <laughs> so we're ready for session zero. <laughs> okay, so unfortunately, Isla did not make it. But Shadow. Well, Mock and Cock is fine. <laughs> also, Shadow made it, so your new character is Shadow. Okay, wonderful. I will find another woman to love. The shopkeep! You mean the tavern keeper? No, the shopkeeper. Oh. I would say. So, so De Demon. I would say tavern keep, but Devon okay. doesn't know. But the shopkeeper oh. is is a, is a different. And then we can get magical shit for free. <laughs> you can also get it for free. We steal it. Five finger discount. Or <laughs> um, that's a good idea. Yes, I like it. We'll do it. This is this, this, this dainty, um, in, in, in quotation marks, growl with this uh, massive artwork. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Muscle mommy. <laughs> Things have been decided, Megan. Thank you, you could have kept it. What? 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 <laughs> Things have been decided for me without my consent. <gasps> oh, no. absolutely. You want no. to be late. So, moving on. Um, let's just quickly catch you up. Uh, since last time, uh, you guys had stepped out of the um, portal onto Adamor, or more specifically Glikia, which kind of the campaign is named after this group of islands and it's the first time we are on it since we started last <laughs> streaming this. Um, <laughs> whoops! Um, so, um, you have stepped out onto your Kikia in Animal just as the sun's rays have come up. Um, you, Temujin has uh, discovered wood. 
and um, water. Not more than you. Just you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Just just needed to make that, that so, check so, so cool. He, he was aware that something like a tree existed up until recently. Okay. Um, or that there's so a ocean. ocean has discovered one. <laughs> It's a very fair statement. To and, and to be fair, the ocean, which absolutely left him flabbergasted. Uh, and and, and the, the, there's more than just a few droplets of water. Yeah. Um, they spent a short rest in which uh, Temujin um, attuned to his new toy, um, and the rest of them healed. So you can choose if you want to take a short rest and heal up a bit. Um, you should be able to, or I, either one of us should be able to add that to the cobalt as well quickly if necessary. And then after the short rest, um, the sun is a little bit higher now, so you do feel a little bit strange as you are not used to um, being in the sunlight. This is a very new experience for you. However, um, even though that occurred, you, along with Temujin, notice to the south mm -hmm. uh, where you are currently, smoke rising up into the sky. And that is kind of where we paused in order to let you in. Thank yes. you. Also, your first time seeing sky. Yes. Yeah, I know. This is. Uh, uh, well, technically, trees and uh, ocean sea as well. And, yeah. All that, all that sweet, sweet jazz. And um, the sun. And for Shadow, so... <laughs> I'm just standing there where everyone around is just like, What the fuck?! What is <laughs> like, this?! Oh like, yeah, don't so stare at the sun! <laughs> like, ah. Why not? Proceeds to stare at sun. <laughs> Okay, so Temujin notices the smoke to the south. <laughs> I was blind. <laughs> I was eyes start to smoke. <laughs> Temujin is at least very aware of the sun. Okay, um. <laughs> is is the smoke on the water, on the island? So, 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 can, can, smoke on the water. On on all that water. So, for those of you who are purple, the iconic song. Yeah. Not a lot of dungeon monsters can make that joke. So, um, um, so at this stage, I'd be worried that Chuck Norris is here because only he and he and he and SpongeBob can make fire under the sea. So. <laughs> yeah, but like maybe it's a boat. Okay, so you wouldn't know. Um, I, yeah, but that's focus. why I'm asking. Where is okay, it? Focus, focus. So. I, I did kind of run through this before you were here. So the, the island is mostly a crescent shape, mm -hmm. um, moving north to south. Um, the western side of the island, now you wouldn't be aware of this, but it's, it's a cliff rising up from the ocean itself, mm -hmm. which um, even 28 years ago, when the island group was first discovered, um, started turning into a green crystal. But um, and this was noticed by the elves sailing away back to their to the mainland. Um, so you're not currently aware of this. Mm -hmm. I I was not aware of this, but Megan okay. can be. Um, and then from the cliffs, it slopes back to the east into the ocean. Mm -hmm. um, and the main crescent shape is north to south. So the moment there's smoke to the south of you, that means it's on the island itself. Ah, uh, okay. So if, if, if there was smoke to the east or the west of you, then is it on the water? Potentially. Um, that might be a relevant question, but as of yet, no. Yet, you would be, if you didn't look, stare too long into the sun, you would be aware of the fact that it is on land itself. Right. So, Temujin will lead the way. We are, we are all, well, I would lead the way. <laughs> no, Te Temujin will just walk. Okay, well, fair. He would stop at like every flower and be like. And so, not to mention. Stop at, you notice this one is a deep shade of purple. And, and then, like, five steps further, you notice a orange flower. And two steps further, you, you notice a white flower. No, 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 no. So, so <laughs> that, that's are you be picking these flowers? 
he will he will pick one of each. Yeah, no, I'm like, hey, sniff it. It smells of happiness. <laughs> also, not to mention grass. Oh, oh but he already he already chewed on some grass that wasn't very pleasant. <laughs> so, I mean, walking on it, but okay. unless it's gechol <laughs> grass. So Which also chewing on it wouldn't be very pleasant. So, I mean, either you would be pretty much just as fascinated with your surroundings. Oh yeah, no, no, she's she's walking right next to him, picking flowers too, and like every time, like he stops and looks at one, I show off my previous one to Shadow. I'm like, look at this, look so, at this. So Shadow's a little bit confused by this, but does take note and. Doesn't take long before she presents you with a bunch of flowers. See, Senor. Look! Uh, look! There are so many plants, and they're not dangerous! Uh, well, not these ones. <laughs> we said they're not dangerous. They're very poisonous. You will die in 24 hours. You see? But well, you didn't ask thing. me before you plucked the other so dogs this You usually no, 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 die this instantaneously. Point, you come across the dandelion. The last dandelion. Which, <laughs> 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 like which, as you pick it and bring it to you rapidly, a bunch of the seeds fall off and fly into the distance in the breeze. So, so immediately he looked like shot. Like, but, but, what's wow. what he got? I will bring it less. So, 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 what, what kind of test is this? <laughs> the one to see a breath test. test. Constitution? <laughs> no. Well, I mean, if, if I decide he breathes it in, then yes. <laughs> no, no. So, so, uh, <coughs> no, you're supposed to blow. No. <laughs> Survival check. <laughs> Take it on a seat, Lee. But I'm going to ask for a constitution, so I'm going to go. Uh, I'll just turn around up upon hearing this. Do I see so, that he's holding like a dandelion stem? Yes. <laughs> So, so be careful, these that. these plants are extremely deadly. That will be... Uh, <laughs> and I turn around and keep walking. <laughs> That'll be... So he'll just drop the entire <laughs> bunch of flowers, like... <laughs> uh, and that will be a 22. Ah, you're okay. And, uh, you, you, you cough up a few dandelion seeds <laughs> for the next two minutes, but... Um, <laughs> you're okay. He needs a good cough mixture. <laughs> So what do you do with your flowers after I said they are very dead? Do I hear you? You're right there. So 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 unfortunately. Yes. Due to the fact that you are currently in sunlight, your um passive perception has dropped. <gasps> yes. So Oh no. Traditionally the way this works is this advantage on a passive since is negative five, so you're currently on 17, not on 20. Still pretty amazing, yeah. though. Which is very high. <laughs> still and, pretty um, high. Yeah, you're about the same as me now. No. She's exactly the same as you. Yeah. I've got in front of me. True. <laughs> right. My passive perception is the best of the big one. <laughs> At like 13. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're better than the kobolds. <laughs> there we go. My that, insight and investigation isn't too bad. So mm. just, just take note of that. Right, cool. Um, it, it, it's more for me to take note of than for you, but yeah. Alright, uh, so I've heard him now. You would have. Do I believe him? Roll insight. Versus deception. You are running at the same time. 
Hmm? You are at a disadvantage. Okay. Baletti Jax is at disadvantage. Why? Because you're in sunlight. You are not made for the upworld. <laughs> but I don't have disadvantage on insight. I have disadvantage on stealth and perception. Sunlight sensitivity. You uh, attack rolls and perception checks that were on site. Okay, sorry. No, I'm mistaken. You do not suffer disadvantage. Right. So it's attack rolls and perception checks that were on site. Uh. 25? <laughs> 18. <laughs> yeah, he is lying through his teeth. <laughs> right. If he even <laughs> had his teeth. <laughs> Do you share this with the group? I kept yes, so because I pick up your flowers and I'm like, why did you drop them? He said it's... He's lying. Yeah, but yeah. just just for interest's sake, could you roll an inside check for me, please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you believe you believe well. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, well, not not that bad, but it's still below his. It would have been a fifteen. So I, I had the uh, the bouquet back out to you. Do you take it? Do you not take? Uh, oh, he takes it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, watch out for bees. What are bees? small little insects that sting you when you touch flowers. Right. Are they, they on like? the flowers? I don't know, you must check. At <laughs> this point, Shadow gives you a single flower. It's red in color. Mm -hmm. And the flower itself has quite a large number of not Standard shapey leaves twirling around, almost in a spiral. As you take the flower, you you almost drop it when the thorns pierce <laughs> your flesh. Yeah, when okay. she presents you with that red rose. Aww. Ow! Um. How do you hold this? <laughs> How are you holding this? Carefully, my dear. That could have been really great information beforehand, and I'm going to take it by the petals. <laughs> 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 and just hold it by the petals and go, thanks. It's really pretty. Because I don't know how else to hold this, so here it goes, and it goes Has in. Has Timogen at any point seen animals? <laughs> Up until this point, no. Okay. Cool. Are we, we're still walking, right? We're yeah, the we're fucking still moment. Still oh, we're trying to find you guys. Flowers! Yes, so I've, I've got a huge bouquet, and I just take it, and I put it in my bouquet, and we're still walking. <laughs> And as as the well, Temujin will also like constantly be squishing leaves of trees and uh, smelling them and, and touching different trees' bark and, and experimenting with all of them and trying what they feel like. How many of them are poison ivy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just. Why do you think I'm gathering plants? Because <laughs> <laughs> if you'll remember, we all said some of these plants can be very dangerous. Right. Like grabbing a rose by the stem. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't know. So, so I grabbed it by the top, and that's not spiky. Some of the plants you or leaves some you pick and squish do not smell pleasant. They'll tuck them away immediately. And at one point, you grab some leaves, crush it, try and smell it. It doesn't really smell of much. You throw it away and you notice your hand is itchy. Master Will, I'm assuming, mm. and he'll, he'll point at the plant, I'll, I'm assuming that one is one of those you were talking about. Uh, why do you say that? Because it itches. Oh, uh, he touched Ivy. <laughs> well, would I know what plant it was? Roll a nature check for me, please. 
<laughs> Will my docent assist me? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Nine. Uh, it's 16. You do recognize this as a form of poison ivy. Although you yourself is unaffected by it. Um, this would be a plant aptly known as poison ivy. Or a strain of sorts, but the poison nonetheless. Yes. Well, that and it'll keep scratching that one. Well, I know how, why it does what it does. Just know that it has adverse effects on, on yeah. flesh. This. Oh, yeah. Very well. And, and, and at this stage, Demogen will... will Keep the flowers that he has in like a, a pouch, but but he won't be any more <laughs> touch any trees. He just as he walks, scratches his hand. Can I heal that? You can most certainly try. All right, then I'll try, and I'll be like, <laughs> you take him by the hand. Take my hand. No. <laughs> because if you touch. That took you a moment, Megan. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> um. Um. Yo! So, so Demogen will, will point out, like, uh, Isla. Yes? Don't, don't, don't touch those ones. Understood. Uh, you, brother, don't touch anyone. Well. What do you mean? You can spread. It's contagious. Right. Um. Yes. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Isla has no spell slots. Because they're they're still all used up and. Does it spread on its own? Do you, do you, you really? No, proof touch. So technically, a slap on this would be a chemical weapon. Mm. Yes. Uh, that depends on your ask. <laughs> <laughs> right. I will cast healing word. I'll touch you on your shoulder and be like, I hope this helps and that you feel better. And I'll be waiting patiently to see if I do feel better. <laughs> I know, let me just find my D4s. So like, all the way down. There we go. Well, there's one. There is the Healing potion. That well, is a bunch of D4s. Uh, that's a 10. Well, you can heal for 10 HP. It does nothing to the hand. Right, understood. Uh, so, uh, Isla. Yes? Magic doesn't seem to affect the, the, the plant life from this world. Right. But thank you. Anyway. You're welcome. So perhaps it was just not the right spell. By this time, Mok and Kak have kind of picked up with on your infatuation with plants. With flowers. And right. they've started running around picking the most random and obscure <laughs> pieces of plants. <laughs> and bringing them to you and you're ending up with a pile of grasses and twigs and some flowers some of which are a little bit scorched <coughs> that your two cobalts are bringing to you right so instead of having a bushel of flowers in my arms i'm gonna like take i think i have a coat on i'm gonna take my coat off and like hang my coat between my two arms and just like Ha have it out so every time they come running to me with something they I'm just like put it on the pile and they are looking very pleased with themselves with bringing you these objects that hey, well, you then. seem to enjoy well it seems like we're gonna <laughs> open up a flower shop <laughs> seems that way you sell flowers as well? Oh, yeah, this 
well, not, not a big commodity, but seeing as you can't walk around and pick them. But they have nicer ones there. Ones that um, do not show me your hand. So he'll he'll show his hand. I want to say it's reddish, but <laughs> he's already red, so <laughs> that's kind of pointless. I'll just like it's swollen. Touch his hand and cause cure wounds. Like maybe this will help. Roll for it. Uh, that is a twelve. So. You heal 12 hit points. It's Hand still itches. Right. <laughs> so apparently no form of magic assists with poison. You just mm. need an ointment well, or something. Yes, obviously we'll, we'll need a specific poison spell. Or maybe there is some sort of remedy. I've known that the folks in these, par- in these, in these parts <laughs> <laughs> um, parts on this plane have found herbs and other plants that will help with remedying such So, around about this time, um, po- probably thankfully, because Isla is starting to struggle the, the um, to carry the amount of plant matter that is being brought to her <laughs> by various means, um, you come across a small village mostly made up of clay huts with what appears to be grass roofs the one building um, that does stand out a bit the brick building um, has a black on the outside. The plaque you read, Scorch View. Birthplace of the first four. So it might be a good time right now to let you know that Demogen can't read. (laughs) (laughs) Is that why you're not taking any notes? (laughs) Demogen can't read. He he doesn't. He doesn't know. Okay. But he hasn't said anything. But just. Mm. So birthplace of the first four, four, F O, F O U R four four. Never mind, I'm going to keep that dumb question to myself. What? No, no, I'm <laughs> really curious. How to spell four? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I literally just said that, but sure. I was going to ask, would I know who they are? No, no she aren't. would <laughs> not. Not in the slightest. You don't even know what plants are, I <laughs> know. I so know, I no. know. It's why I looked at you, made eye contact. I. I can't <laughs> <and> <laughs> eye contact I can't and then <laughs> immediately let away. Okay, so at this stage, referring to eye content, we're talking of OnlyFans. Let's not go Is is the four a significant <coughs> thing, or is it more specific to this? Roll insight. to what this village has to an in. Well, uh, I assume this is the hospitality. Shall we go? Mm. Um, well, I'm, I'm here anyway, so... Thank you. All right. Shall we go there then? Everyone's in, in agreement? Yeah. Sure. Perhaps they have, what did you mention, what did you call it? Ointment. That. 
or maybe some other form of. Is it the same as a cell? Yes. Mm. Ah, it's a medicine. He doesn't scratch his head. Head to the building. I can think of worse places. You can scratch <laughs> the wrong hand at this Ooh. point in time. <laughs> head to the building. Inside you find a rudimentary bar. Um, being manned by what's probably based on his looks an elderly elf. Well, good morning folks. You're fresh in town. Yes, just got you. I didn't realize the vengeance would be stopping by this morning. The what? The vengeance. The what? What's that? Grizz, I'm disappointed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 Grizz and Will should hopefully know what I'm currently talking about. Do they is the question? Well, so, so, okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay, let's so, 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 put it this <laughs> way. Grizz and Will know what I'm talking about. The question is, does Samuel and Rihanna know what I'm talking about? No. <laughs> <laughs> of course we do. Just repeat so we know that you do. <laughs> <laughs> so, for Samuel and Rihanna's information, the Vengeance is the ship that they own, which is currently being captained by Thane. <laughs> I never took note of my ship's name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you... <laughs> I tried! It's, is it only me that remembered? Yeah, it seems like uh, it. Apparently <laughs> so. It's not even my damn character anymore, people! <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. I tried. I think I should play Thane's NPC as well, just to kick his ass. <laughs> I mean, literally, the only person that is truly forgiven at this table at this point in time is Megan. Yeah, she doesn't know anything about it. I because apologize. this is before your time. Oh, I Megan, apologize. you would absolutely love Thane. Though. I, w I apologize, okay? It's okay, you're forgiven. Okay. So, Grizz and <laughs> yeah. Will is very much aware. Yeah. Oh. It can safely assume to what this heaven keep is speaking of. Okay. So he said, uh, what's it, what are his exact words again? I didn't realize that the vengeance would be stopping by this morning. Vengeance. Oh, is it, is it in port? Uh, Don't you know? No, we just came from England. <laughs> <laughs> We're from out of town. This <laughs> is really very far you can go in this place. Yeah. Um. More like underground, but yeah. Well, also technically, no. Uh, find this. Quite um, interesting that you're here, but not aware of what is going on. Um, magic. <laughs> <laughs> that was since you are absolutely correct. And at this point, damage in real life and poison. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you accidentally fall onto some poison ivy? No, he touched it. He's never seen a plant before. Well. What? Yeah, that one too, those two, and I point no, towards Isla and Shadow. There's a difference? Yeah, many different races, yes. Right, okay. His skin's not purple. I don't have skin. 
so your skin is that <laughs> no they look are you two okay no they're not yeah she's never seen a different race before a different elf same pointy ears different skin it's it's jarring you're from the underdog am I correct yeah welcome to the surface world when did you get here about then <laughs> two hours ago two hours ago <laughs> <laughs> yeah Fascinating. I, I was aware that there were some exits from the Underdark, but <laughs> we not that there's it. one here. Well, there's one here. Again, pre previously aforementioned magic. So, you lot just came from the Underdark, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Long story Once short. Once again, my apologies for the the dark ages. We we, we we thought you were a dark elves and couldn't trust you. I, I, I sincerely hope you do understand. That's not at all a problem. Um, I was... Was I there? No. no. Mm -hmm. I was not there for that time. I don't hold a personal grudge. It's wonderful to hear. So, you're new in town, is that correct? Very the gist of it. They're new to, well, <laughs> uh, here, uh, surface and uh, anywhere flora. Flora. <laughs> 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 um, and to town, yes. Well, we in that case, I, I do realize it's early, but let me pour you an ale. You might need it. Uh, first, I want to know about mm. the, where is this port where... Uh, it's it's just down to the east, um, on the shore. Sorry, um, when have you landing? Don't don't you know it? What the vengeance? Well, the the port. Oh n no, I have no specific recollection of ever being. So there. so this is your first time visiting Isles of Adamore? Uh, no. Not the yeah. entirety of the islands, but... You're being very them. cryptic. Yes. Cryptic. Cryptic. <laughs> Forgive me, there's food in my mouth. Uh, are you referring to the <coughs> port here on this island? Mm, or the main well port at Rivergate? Yes. Well, I mean, if you, if you know about Rivergate, it's, it's obviously a good thing. Um, tell me, what... How... Where are you of what is going on within Adamore presently? In what regard? Because there are many things, I suppose. So, currently, there is a bit of a problem between us. Um, land and dwelling folk mm -hmm. and the ocean. Right, yes. I remember these soldiers poking at the city. <laughs> yes. Yeah, wrong story. <laughs> it was in the midst of the start of this, because it's been running for, what, just over a month now, where things have gotten bad? More or less, yes. Mm. It was, it started in the time that we had to go to the underdog. Uh, been there a month. So you're not aware of how bad it got? No, nope. not at all. So at this point in time, um, there is no travel between the islands, okay. save for uh, Captain Thane and the Vengeance being the only captain. Depending on who you ask, brave or stupid enough to actually still sail, which we are very thankful for, as he does tend to bring us some um, necessary supplies. I bloody hope it's brave, because if he damages my ship... <laughs> Your ship? Yes. yes, my ship. I'm sorry, who are you again? Will. Owner of the Solemn Guild and... I've heard of the Solemn, but I haven't heard of you. 
I am the owner. He's kind of in the behind the scenes that guy. <laughs> yeah, it's not quite the face, but it's more the adventurer. Well, from my understanding, it is due to the Solemn Guild's participation in the vengeance that uh, Captain Thane is still capable of making these trips. I would expect nothing less. So, um, he is not due for another two days. Um, thus far, at worst, he's been only about a day late. Mm. So, two, maybe three days, then he should be back in Guinevere. Um, if you do want passage, uh, if as you say, you are the owner of the Solemn, then it should not be a problem. Um, if not, and you're hoping to make it back to Adamore itself, expect a fairly hefty sum to get all seven of you there. Yeah, it's a good thing that I employ thing on my ship. If you say so, yes. Well, well, oh, I don't have a solemn crest yet. So, so um, while we're at it, do you have a cell? Oh, yes, uh, absolutely. And he digs um, behind the counter and presents you with the cell. Um, a, a spell of uh, some restoration. Probably should have done the trick as well, but there's some cell. Uh, this will take a little bit longer. How much? Two, maybe three days? You know, by the time the vengeance gets back here. Don't scratch, and it's going to make it worse. And don't touch your other parts of the skin. Two silver pieces. Fine. And, and Thane will remove a golden coin. Mm -hmm. and hand him two golden coins. He gives you one gold coin back and hands you eight silver. Do you need me to teach you currency as well? <laughs> so, you're new to math! <laughs> 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 Just smack a big book in front of it. Math for dummies. <laughs> <laughs> Algebra, motherfucker. Currency, <laughs> currency in a nutshell. <laughs> Silver, gold, and black. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, ten of each is worth the next one. Mm -hmm. Ten copper is worth one silver. Ten so silver copper I know. Yes. They turn into one silver. Ten of them, and one silver. Okay. Which is the coin change that they gave you. Ten silver ah. turns into one gold. And ten gold goes into one black. Remember this, and he'll he'll put the the rest of his cash back in his, uh, his pocket, and then generously uh, mm -hmm. apply the ointment mm. to both hands. Mm. So, Scorch view to a large extent. Uh, th this is more information for the players than for the characters itself. Is is known for being the birth of the first four and that's very much their thing. There's not very really much going on. There. Right, tourist attraction, got it. Yes, um, yes on that note, uh, do tell me, Barkeep, I assume you are just, I can call you Barkeep? And this well, I'm the owner of this fine establishment. My dear sir, then do tell me, as I am unfamiliar, you have a sign in the front that says birthplace of the four? Yes, absolutely. And they are 
that is... Don't you know? Unfortunately not, no. So the first four births on the Isles of Adamor... I think our stream is frozen. Again. Again. And I think it's been frozen for a while. Sorry. Yay, technology. Yeah, for the past 20 minutes. Um, uh. Sorry. The, the, this, for what? some reason, the, this has been happening since I've updated the software. Uh, mm. Welcome to the Isles of Adamir Adam podcast, everyone. <laughs> that might be a thing soon. Maybe. We don't know. We'll see. Um, so, the first four. Um, it's, it's the first four births from the Isles of Adamor that occurred during the second eruption. Aren't, aren't you aware of this? No, I didn't spend my time in the history of these islands. So, the Isles of Adamor was um, this discovered approximately 28 years ago, give or take. Um, let me just quickly sort this out, then I can be somewhat more accurate in terms of what I would say. Um, but 28 years ago, give or take, by Captain Nalneros Reiher. Um, he got lost during the storm and ended up here and as he was approaching he noticed the um, volcano erupting. That, that's why this, this island is called Adamor. Adamor is, is the Elvish word for the mouth of anguish. Um, not sure if you're aware of this. Um, and approximately two years later, the main volcano on the main island erupted once again, uh, to such an extent that um, Rivergate was evacuated and everyone moved down to this, this island. Uh, that, that's where this village was founded. Everyone settled in, in this location, um, mm -hmm. more or less. Um, during this time, there was also two other eruptions, one to the north, which has since become known as the Iskar Archipelago, and one to the south, um, which has since become known as the Narrow Atoll. Um, Inter interestingly, both of these eruptions were very green in nature, not, not traditional volcanic eruptions. Um, and during this time, four children were born, right, right there in Scorchview. We, we, we named this place Scorchview due to the um, having the phenomenal view of the three eruptions all at once. Um, it is rumored that these uh, four children had magical properties not known by anyone before. But um, since then, I mean, there, there were some plans to try and completely evacuate and abandon Adamore, but shortly after um, the eruptions ceased and the actual volcanoes of Iskar, Capalago, and Narrow Toll has fallen back into the sea, leaving small islands. And um, Adamore itself hasn't erupted in a good 26, 27 years. Not quite sure how long. So, um, yes, the, the, the first four children born on Adamore was born right here in Scorchview while the volcanoes were erupting. What magical properties were they willing to have? Well, it, it's, it's, it differs. Um, 
I was aware of the one. Um, there was some form of lycanthropy with a little bit of bloodlust from him. Um, another one, a, a, a young female, uh, in fact, from what I understand, had a, a unique integrated link to a more nefarious, darker power, um, which only really showed when she was not older. And do any of these still inhabit the islands? Can we find them? Or well, last I checked, all four of them should still be alive. Uh, yeah. I'm not aware of any of them dying or leaving. And, and do you have names that we can start searching with? I, I didn't. Why? I mean, the kids born with magic. I mean... So the we have magic. Were you born during a volcano? I... no. No. It's a bit odd, don't you think, that only four <laughs> were born before the eruption and Do you even know what a volcano is? <laughs> no, but, but that's, that's not the point of the story <laughs> here. So it's why do we, we need to look for them? Do, don't, don't, don't you think it's weird that prior to the eruption there were no births, and then on the eruption suddenly four and only after that i mean i don't know much about other peoples but my tribe procreated regardless of where they were two yeah, years without childbirth is is yeah, quite a bad year sure that it's weird it's interesting but do are they in trouble do I we need to go after them because they've done something they, they shouldn't have? I, I don't understand why may, we need to find may, them. Well, we also you mentioned green. Isn't, I mean, a bunch of rocks green and then kids oh, with innate magical abilities? I mean, so that couldn't it be linked? I mean, how many other green things except for that damn plant? <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> these exploding rocks do we know about? Hmm. Okay, yeah, that that makes a fair point. I mean, if they are somehow linked to the green rock and the green rock linked to the explosion, then, I mean, I mean, we'll be back and then, then we can take this one session further. <laughs> he kind of fetch it stuff. I think this game both was like. The volcano was green? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Last time I checked, volcano is not supposed to be green. <laughs> I wish I could say more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hello. It's very funny watching you make, make wiggly eyes at each other across the table. Find me like a holly and drop on me like a fifty. Woo! <laughs> 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 oh man, that is absolutely fucking terrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now? And now? Now what? Oh uh, no, I'm not, just not getting it. No, 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 don't have to. Oh. That's okay, I usually don't. <laughs> we know. Thanks. Ow. You okay? Yeah. It's not my ogre.
Okay, so at this point, Mike and Megan is aware of this. Yeah. But Isla and Temujin is not aware of the link between the Green Rock, Necronium, and Adam White. Just bear this in mind during your conversation. Grizz and Will is. Timogen and Isla's not. But. There. Mm. You Actually, no, no, I'm, I'm trying to reason this out in my mind. You're not. Yeah. All you know is the green exploding rock comes from Will well, and he got it somewhere. Mm -hmm. that you is have fair. no idea that it comes from that. Animal. That is true. That was that, that that is my fault. Very true. Apologies. What color? <laughs> Do you have any idea what color the green smoke flames were from the volcano eruptions? What colors are? <laughs> what what color colors was the green <laughs> smoke <laughs> from the eruption? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, blue. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let's I know. go with green. <laughs> Right. That was a particularly smart move, I guess. <laughs> I know. I went for it, realized, and just continued. Was the question, do you know what the green stuff was? <laughs> no, the question was, do you know what particular shade it was? Like, Will, can you show him the shiny rock? Right. So, so now you're exposing your teammates. Yes, no, but uh, that's not what I said, because what you, everyone heard what came out of my mouth, <laughs> so I'm now sticking to it. <laughs> well, I mean, it was green? Uh, yeah. And, uh, do, 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 yeah. Wait, does the lycanthropy one still... What is lycanthropy? What is it? Um, lycanthropy? Yes. Well, I mean, well, this where, where, where? Yes. That being... Picture. Don't you know what a werewolf is? Like no. A wolf? No. No, no. Okay. It was just like, picture, then turn okay. into wolf, and then change back. So <laughs> what is a wolf? Because <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I have, have you nice been in hit in the yeah. head recently? <laughs> I have a very little Multiple grave times, to show yes. you. Um, there might still be wolves around that grave. <laughs> <laughs> grave. In a forested area. I don't... Where I come from, we have very little animals. So, is it an animal? Is yes. It, is yes. it like... Do, do, do you know what a dog is? We have this, this big thing with teeth and four balls and a tail. Okay. What do you call it? So your creature. Yeah. So, so the, the small these ones, the traders bring. They call dogs. But then we have foxes. Desert foxes, phoenix. So, so think of the dog, but bigger and more aggressive. How big? Uh, How tall are you? So, <laughs> damage units, I think, just under seven. Yeah, I just point that well. Six, <laughs> I think it's six feet eight or something. So, the, the, the average wolf at its shoulders is just over three feet high. And to mm -hmm. the top of his head is just um, three feet. Yeah, it's just I four didn't feet actually high. put it in, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's it's about six yeah. foot eight. Um, you guys like your tall characters. Very much. You know I mean? <laughs> well, the last time I played a tiny one, it was instant death, so. <laughs> Um, well, the, the, the downside of tall one is um, you roll dexterity saving throws every time you go through a door. Which reminds me! <laughs> I hate to break it to you. We are no longer in the underdog. There is no longer abnormally small doors. He is, he is 
Ah. <laughs> like, like average humanoid size across races is five foot ten. I am seven foot two. Right <laughs> understood. Yeah, so with with his horns, Demogen is about six foot eight. <laughs> okay, so those dice turn. <laughs> so, so we're talking about a big dog. So, 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 so. That was a um, maximum that I could have rolled on a six, three yeah. six. So you take six bludgeoning damage as you bump your head, heading into the. In within sports view. Right. So we're talking. Roll your, roll roll your dexterity saving throw. As soon as you want to be fucking tall. Let you most. You most want to be tall. <laughs> <laughs> so that is going to be 18. You managed to duck underneath the door. You saw me bump my head. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So we're talking about a big dog. Well, yes, and uh, there are some other differences. I mean, very well. one, it's it's more in aggressive and so on. But and now, now yeah, that essentially a larger, more aggressive dog. Yes. Right now, what's the difference between this large, very aggressive dog slash wolf and a werewolf? So a werewolf is a man who turns into a creature that takes some aspects of a wolf and looking like a wolf mm -hmm. and becomes extremely aggressive to the point where it would attack any living creature that it sees or hears during the period of its transformation which generally occurs around the full moon. And so doesn't it also walk on two legs? Yeah. Yes. So, so a, a werewolf is, is, is a combination between the words man and wolf. So it, it, it's essentially a, a man, man wolf. wolf. And does this man wolf still terrorize the people around it? Does it hunt the well, forest? I haven't heard any recent reports, however, be aware that this occurs with full moon, you know, when um, Phaethon and his beloved wife is together in the sky, or directly opposite, technically. Um, it's happened quite a lot, so stories aren't necessarily all that common anymore as we've grown somewhat used to it. Wow. So, Fair. I haven't heard any specific news of the, this werewolf recently. Hmm, interesting. Meaning he didn't, hasn't killed anyone in the past couple of months. That, that's probably the big, most important takeaway from this. Fair. So, um, you, you did ask for the four names of the, these children born. Um, so, the, the first one is a male elf, Veseran, V E S R Y N, a female elf, which is, is quite strange as elves don't get tend to be born very often. Elaniel, E-L-A-N-I-L, a human boy named Marcus, and a human girl named Lily. Uh, which 
one of them had the 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 the, the man wolfness. If, if I remember correctly, that would have been Marcus. Um, the 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 other one that had the nefarious thingies. Oh, the the, the connection with um, demons and. S- yes, that. Lily. The, the, b- both of them human. Uh, from what I understand, the, the two elven ones, they, they too had some abnormal magical abilities, although, and, and it might be biased from me as an elf, but less dark than the human ones. Saying this with the uh, two dark owls in the tavern. So don't worry, man. You have it. Well, mm. I for one, I'm not hungry. But are you? Mm. Do you have food available? May I ask, do, do you want some water for all of these plants you're carrying around? Will they live, even if I give them water? Because they've all been plucked and burnt and dug up and... Roll inside for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, math brain work. They, they have been plucked and a little bit burned. Um, they won't live particularly long, but placing them in some water does tend to allow them to survive a little bit longer. So I extend their suffering. Ah, uh, yes. But um, ideally, if you want them to live, they should not be plucked. So if you want them to live, you must take out everything from the ground. No, they still no. die. For them to live, they need to stay where they grow. The moment you remove them, they will start dying. Right. So since they're already dying, is there a way to... I don't know... Preserve them? Like like dried meat? Mushrooms. Yeah. Not really. Um you can extend them a little bit by putting them in water. We do sometimes dry out herbs for mm-hmm. use within food, but that's not really extending their life. The, 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 the moment they've been plucked, they've stopped dying, and there's not much you can do about it. Unless you have their seeds and you can't uh, I don't have seeds, and I've just collected them, and since Trying them out is not an option. Um, I'm gonna deal with them later, and I'm gonna take my whole jacket and like just fold it up and attempt it to stuff it in my bag of holding. You stuff it in your bag of holding. Cool. Then <laughs> it's gonna sit there and be tomorrow's problem. So, so looking at this, they'll all die anyway. Demogen will hand you his bouquet, like. At least not burned them. Thank you. That's that's very, very much appreciated. You you mentioned food. Mm-hmm. Food? Do you have food? Oh, of course. What food? Spider legs. Well, seeing as it's 
Breakfast, you're mainly looking at bacon and eggs with um, toast. What's bacon? Do you have spider legs? Oh, why would I want that? Um, we we um, tend I'm to a... try and get rid of spiders here. Uh, up, up here, spiders for the most part are very small. Oh, that's... As in, the whole spider isn't even worth a snack. Oh, that's bloody unfortunate. Okay. What is this bacon you speak of? Meat. <laughs> sure, bacon. Haven't okay. you had bacon before? No. That goes for you as well, I know. We've had bacon done in the underdark. No, 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 pork based bacon. It, it, some kind of bacon. <laughs> some kind of bacon. It had the same words to describe it, so I you, understand what bacon make is until it comes onto my plate and I look at it and I'm going, what the fuck is that? I just pictured an SNL sketch of, it's almost pizza, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, bacon, definitely. Okay. Eggs. You'll have to just try it to understand. Just, just get us three. Yeah. But maybe four. Uh, three. 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 So, so, so remember the shadow the and two cobalt oh, as well. True, yeah. 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 Oh, true, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Well, I doubt the cobalt are at least six, possibly seven. Mm. Are you eating? No. Okay, cool, then six. So, six rounds of bacon, eggs, and toast. Yeah. yeah. That's um, wait, wait, on, I mean on the two with the... Uh, for the little ones, no eggs. So, just bacon and toast? Yeah. Okay. You can and probably leave the toast <laughs> eat that uh, drink. You have what? Ale, naturally, mm -hmm. if you want to start the serving. Um, or we can bring you some tea. Do you only have ale? That's water and milk. Have you heard of Dragonfire Whiskey? <laughs> oh my goodness. Let him first bring um, the food up. Can, can, we, can we at least get the food? Before you don't Not stop. Not quite. Uh, mm. Should I have? Oh, it's the best thing you'll ever taste in your life. And then the worst Alcoholic. feeling ever. <laughs> but um, my friend here still needs his uh, uh, an in initiation of sorts. Um, um, and I was wondering if you would like some as well. It's still somewhat early in the morning. I, I think I will pass at this point. All right. Are you willing? To have some dragonfire whiskey. <laughs> Trust me, if you take the dragonfire whiskey and wake up, it's not going to be morning anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'll out, out, of, out of the three that he's got, I, w I personally would um, take a gander rather at the, the spider venom than ever do the dragonfire whiskey ever again. You say it's an initiation of yeah. sorts. Yeah. I took it. Let died. me eat and then. Oh, yes, no, I'll let you first consume your meal yeah, and please everything. Don't drink on an empty stomach. <coughs> I don't want the meal to go to waste. Mm. Very much. Nice. So it, it takes a couple of minutes, but mm. out comes several plates with bacon, toast, and eggs. For the two cobalts, um, the Bacon disappears almost instantly. Yeah. The toast remains untouched. I kind of knew that was going to happen. Figured. You absolutely, completely, and totally fall in love by the first bite of the bacon. So he'll sit the grease all over his <laughs> mouth, just and and just take an egg and. Market, sir, bring me all your bacon. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ron Swanson. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make sure you heard me right. <laughs> oh, all of your bacon. Um, then who's going to pay for that? <laughs> Yeah, you have to pay. So with a greasy <laughs> hand, you'll just shake it off. 
Why put in a cobalt tape? <laughs> Why put a hand in a cobalt No! And, um, and they just grin, this big grin at, let's yeah. say it was, uh, it was Mop. Uh, you're, you're, you're looking which is the naughty and one, Mokko Cock. 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 He'll, he'll, he'll do it to Cock and just have this big grin and then give him a you, piece you, of bacon. You, you, you notice Cock sitting there. Uh, <laughs> bacon like grease. cleaning himself, wiping down the bacon grease, licking it up. I'm going to pick up a napkin and start like wiping and cleaning his head. And I'm like, there's, there's not much left. Don't. So, so Temujin will reach behind and like put like two more gold coins on the table. So, uh, the, the, the tavern keep, um, goes back into the kitchen and some motion and so on around and a while it takes several minutes to turn around but a, a large plank of wood heaping with bacon gets brought out and placed in front of you. I cover the cobalt's eyes. So they would you slide of hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's no. Nope. You know they can spell it, <laughs> right? But you know, like when when the when it's horrific and it's like very graphic, and the mother like covers the kid's eyes, it's kind of that. Side of hand, correct? Yes. Fifteen. You, by some miracle, happen to be quick enough. Right, wonderful, cool. <laughs> so, so Timogen will walk with a little bit of bacon in his mouth, kind of growl at you like, let the lungs feast. Uh, it's 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 they've it's earned it. There's going to be nothing left. It does. Fine. So, <sighs> let me. And then Timogen will call them over. Come. No, no. They can, they can, you know... Have a plate full. They don't need the whole pile. Jeez. And I'm we gonna... will feast like tribesmen. I'm they... still proceeding to dish out onto their plates and hand them to plates and be like, now you can go sit with him. And then he'll be <laughs> like... Manners, sir. <laughs> and then, Manners, sir. And then he'll be... As they come over, he'll take the plates, put it back on the heap. Oh, my feast. gosh. And then he'll just dig in with them. He doesn't so use a plate. What? Stands next to you on the ground and, and just eats bacon. Huck, on the other hand, is, is, is less civilized oh and ends up jumping on the table, hands and knees, and just digs in full face. You notice at some point him popping up, looking at you, smiling. And it's just bacon grease all over. Oh no. And and Temujin oh, joins in. He just that. has an absolute feast. The only time all he'll do is like every time like the portion he's sectioned out for himself, every time Cock comes close, he'll just pick him up by the scruff of the neck <laughs> and put him on a different side. Yeah, no, that one <laughs> <laughs> and then and then continue feasting until he's absolutely stuffed. Right. And uh, it takes a good approximately 30 minutes, but there's nothing left. Between Temujin and the two kobolds, there's no bacon left. Right, right. I'm picturing that we're gonna have two fat kobolds like Dungeons and Tigers and the Fat Dragon. <laughs> 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 two little kobolds. <laughs> Except kobolds don't have wings. Yeah. Mm. Um, right. But by the end of it, Mok oh, God, lies on his back on the table, completely and totally exhausted, and there's just a smile on his face. He's very kind of naughty, but very pleased with himself. Smile. Well, um, so they devoured the bacon. Mok is, is sitting on a chair, in grease around his mouth and his hands and so on, just sitting there. Very content with himself. And and you'll just see Temujin's style swishing about. He's he's absolutely Right, cool. I'm gonna hand Mock a napkin and I'm like, please wipe your face. And then while 
Well done. And while Cuck is on the ground and incapacitated, I'm like... And he's lying on the table. Lying on the table. While he's lying on the table and incapacitated, I'm like, bring over some water. Water. Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> so I can dunk this man and clean him up. You concern yourself way too much. With the cobalt? Yes. Yes, I do. Do I regret it? Not particularly. It's not you who's regretting it. Oh, it's... Are you regretting it? It's fairly annoying. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Should I stop? Yes. <laughs> they are beasts. Let them be beasts. Vermin. They are... I wouldn't say vermin, but they are beasts. They are not like children. You cannot change... And Timujin will start training himself of you yeah. cannot change their <laughs> nature. Yes, care for them by all means, but do not squaddle them like you have to. They are not... Okay, but... It is an I insult to them. Right. Barkeep. <laughs> um, seven ales. And what you got one? I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll have the Let's initiation. See. It's time for tea. And uh, <laughs> shot glass, more. please. And then whatever they want. I'll have some tea. <laughs> yeah. Only one shot glass. No, I'll take the water. Uh, uh, no, two shot glasses. Mm. Coming right up. Yep. And he, he brings out the... I see. Drinks and the glasses. So, f f from our somewhat unofficial, still working on sponsored Raymond's, uh, you will not find this under the label Dragon Fire. You'll find this as a very chilly whiskey. But um, there is actual Dragon Fire whiskey to anyone who is interested. Yes. And are we going to down these? Yes. Mike. Yeah. As if we my, are. As if my other way of life my all the other <gasps> Can I have one too? Like Max Lob of your stoop phenomenon. Then, I'm going to put the card of my stoop phenomenon. Yeah. I, I, I thought I'll be drinking with you guys, but apparently I need to grab some glasses for that. Line up. So before you do it, so fuck. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna. <laughs> I'm just wondering, does Isla know what tea is? <laughs> Tell me what. I because it's made from plants. <laughs> we have mushrooms. Down in the Underdark. <laughs> Mushroom's not a plant. Oh, it's a fungus, yeah. Good yeah. point. You're a uh, fungi! Uh, <laughs> 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 fungi! <laughs> there you go. Am I going to die tonight? We'll see. Probably. <laughs> so, these must be chugged. Uh, oh, yes. Downed. Because if you... So I, I, I strongly advise against it. But it would be funny to see it happen, so I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So, um, seeing as we're drinking Dragonfire whiskey, as a old friend of mine used to say, up yours. <laughs> oh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> that is a very bad idea. <laughs> Baby Jesus, <laughs> jump for Jesus. Yeah, Mike, just, just sorry. That's all you. So, Timogen, I think, think my sweet post contract. Oh, oh, you guys! I'm not shooting fucking whiskey. At this stage, I'm scared to spray my head. No, you know. The shot of the whiskey isn't so bad. No, it's the aftertaste. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fucking <laughs> jelly. The shot is quite nice. Yes, it the shot. It can burn down your throat. The shot is <laughs> perfectly. Okay. At this stage, I'm scared to scratch my nuts. 
It's amazing. This is oh. ten times better than sipping it. Yes, Definitely sipping it kills is worse. Every living pain receptor in your mouth to your anus. <laughs> Can I beg to differ? You haven't shot it yet, so you got you can't make it worse. Yeah, but the thing is, you're saying sipping it is worse. Mm. It's not. Have you shot it, it, it before? Is. Did I shoot it the last time I had it? No. Yeah. no here's it. why. When you sip it peri- more periodically, mm-hmm. the burn never stops. Yeah. It's a continuous source of heat. Draymond's, I thank thee. <laughs> the when good burn. It, it's like one big massive fire burn and then it's over. <laughs> where you'll swing the hands in his resignation <laughs> and you'll. So, so I, 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 I do think. At the end of the year, when we, we have our oh. final closing, we'll, we'll organize to have some Germans, um, a whiskey. No, no, we'll, we'll definitely organize a cake. Hopefully my salary, salary, I work for myself. But I um, definitely want my own bottle of Dragonfire whiskey. Yeah. yeah. Same. We we'll, must we'll, please organize. Okay, we'll, we'll make a plan, but, but at the end of the year, if we have it in, in your celebration, then, then we'll make a plan. And, Actually, shoot some fucking dragon fire whiskey. Oh, uh, yes. And, and, and then we'll be nice and bring Curse of Strahd in on that one. Oh, yo. Yeah. I'll bring a stretcher. Does that? <laughs> 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 okay, so. Temujin. Uh, Drinks it. Well, so, right. And Temujin. Yeah, okay. So, Will will cast Disguise Self on himself. He will down the seven ales. Then he will pour a full shot for himself and a half shot for you. Oh wait! I gave you his shot and I gave him your shot. Full half. (laughs) Ah, yes. So, I give you a half. So damage and I take a full after I've done my seven. (laughs) <laughs> so Timogen will take it and kind of look offended. Trust me, buddy. <clears throat> okay. Oh, okay. If you can handle that half, I will give you another. Okay. Constitution saving throw at disadvantage. Do you want an ale for after? The answer yes. is yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you get barkeep an ale for this man, please? And and then I'm, 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 I want to watch this first. So I just want to double check that is at least not a a desert. Don't fail me now. So two d twenty, take the lower of the two. Yeah. Well, that's not bad. So that is going to be fifteen plus six. There is twenty one. A disadvantage. Yeah, the the first throw was 15, the second one was 17. And then it's a plus 6 constitution save. Not too shabby. Fighter, remember? So... I'll just take my shot. You... You're not sober anymore. You're gonna feel this one tomorrow morning when you wake up. Right, you're still standing. And I grab his glass, I pour him another half. <laughs> I'm just standing a little bit back, just like... Uh, that is, unless I'm, you want to make it a full I'm, one. I'm is, is he slingering? How how drunk is he? Tipsy. He, he's pretty much tipsy at this point. I'll have a full one. I'll have a full one, I let you know. I'm going to make an interesting concoction here for you today. And I fill the other half up with spider venom. Do you want to add some of the psychedelic? Uh, oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> That's the last thing we need, a freaking hallucinogenic fighter running around! Oh god. Uh, just the spider venom, and I shove it over. 
Disadvantage, and this time I'm going to say you suffer a five-point penalty. A five-point penalty, right. So that's pretty much just a plus one. Fuck it, we're making up rules as we're going along. Yeah, can have double disadvantage. I rolled 19 twice. <laughs> <laughs> so that is a modded 20 twice. <laughs> say this on a live stream. <laughs> I have some. Did you? I don't remember and I'm not sure if it's just blank because I had some or blank because I've never done it. Are you asking Will for some? Mm. Can I have some? Don't you worry. I'm on the table. I'm I think Shadow should have some. Bernie Shadow asking for some. Also, um... Oh, don't worry about the cobalt. They think that they made that stuff, so no, we can handle it. Who asked it? Who asked? Cuck. The one who always gets Cuck. into trouble. Cuck. You made it. <laughs> you clung um. on to me. No, you didn't. No, mocked it. No, mock. mocked it, yeah. Cuck was the, the gift. Yes, yeah, okay, never mind. Mm. But we have seen them down one off. Mm. So, interestingly enough, we can blame the fact that he's still standing um, on his resistance, fire resistance. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> <laughs> Thiefling, yes. so brilliant. Um Okay. I'll ask the barkeep for how many glasses? Two for each of one for each of the cobalts. Shadow. Is she asking Will for some? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, Shadow. Right. Is Isla asking for some? A half shot, please. Oh, I'm going to give all of you headshots. Right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I assume yeah, yeah, your stocks are starting to run low. Yeah, I assume you uh, Get are that dirty <laughs> fucking finger away from me. Yeah. <laughs> and he just like a teeth. Because <laughs> I only when took half a bottle with me. That so, 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 so you're pretty much empty at this point. Yeah. Until I restock again at the tavern. Or go back to my run back. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um... I pour each one of them a half shot. Right. Yeah. And I just finish the last couple of drops from my bottle. Okay, so um, Megan, do you want to roll for everyone or do you want people to help you? I have enough D20 to roll for everyone. All at disadvantage? No, so Isla and Shadow rolls at disadvantage. Yeah. Morgan Cut just rolls. rolls. Right, got it. Um, and the DC is different for Isla and Kark than it is for Mokka. Uh, for Isla and Kara than it is for Mokka. Rock! Uh, oh no, no, wait, that's... Mok Mok is just a regular roll, so that's either Isla or Shadow. Right, that shall be Shadow. Uh, we're adding Constitution. Constitution, same, correct. At disadvantage, ah oh, yes. Hmm. Yeah, so lower the two rolls. And then you look at um, what the 
confiscation from both parties. That's a 13 for Shadow. She's fucked. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Don't get too excited, Megan. <laughs> Um, that's me. That's a 14 for me. <laughs> I'm also fucked. Okay, cool. Um, these dice are not fun. Uh, I have them right here. Ha <laughs> ha! Brilliant. It's fine to be nice with you, you know? Uh, Mock gets a 8. <laughs> He fucked. <laughs> 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 uh, and uh, gets a ten. So between the four of you, <laughs> don't tell me it's him. <laughs> <is fun. laughs> Blackout drunk or yeah. So so to 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 the extreme that they'll be rolling um constitution saving throws tomorrow morning as well. Yeah. So so damage is ask, 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 ask Samuel. Ah, <laughs> 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 the bad memories. <laughs> so so Damage will just sit there slightly swaying. Like, this is um, this is some good good stuff. Where are you get it? So either you guys are uh, very drunk or you've had quite a long time. You need some place to rest. Uh, well, I'm, uh, unless these guys want to sleep on the floor. <laughs> uh, uh, we need some yeah. uh, lodging, obviously. My, most of my rooms are two bedrooms. As in two beds per room. Mm -hmm. How many rooms would you require? Um, seven of you, so I'm guessing four rooms? The cobalt are going to be in their room, obviously, on the floor. So that's one, two, three. I actually think of them. <laughs> four. But there are two beds. You think I'm going to sleep with the, <laughs> the drunk guy? It's a tiefling that one. I'm not drunk. He's just a little bit tipsy. Okay, perfect. Still. <laughs> so I suggest that maybe mm -hmm. you take your own damn room and the kobolds can come with me. There's shenanigans of fuckery ahead. Four rooms, please. You should not have said that. But sure. Four rooms it is. Why should I not have said that? Take him. <laughs> Alright, so then uh, you're, you're gonna take him? He's tipsy, he doesn't think properly. He's a drunk tipsy. I don't know about that. So, so you're gonna, you're gonna take him? I'll take him. <gasps> Shut up! <laughs> 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 yes, my dear. Mm. Bed. <laughs> what? Nothing else needs to be said. And <laughs> she, she grabs your hand and starts moving in direction. No idea where the fuck she's going. She's <laughs> moving in the direction. I just, I just see her like... Mm. <laughs> yes. What time is it? It's still morning. <laughs> is it still morning? Mm -hmm. It's still <laughs> morning. <laughs> Hello. So, so, so you guys haven't slept since the previous evening. Bed. More or less. So, so one of you probably would do well with the long rest. Yeah. So. Um, Which I will not be receiving. So, so Temujin will take the two kobolds, like one under each arm, and just march to a room. They set things on fire. Only one. As do they I. They set things on fire. Don't set things on fire. Don't worry, he's um, good with fire. <laughs> so. For the, the food, the drinks, and the lodging, that will be 47 silver. So immediately, Demogen puts, like, knock down. And I've 
I've got it. I've got yours as well. Okay. <laughs> you just go sleep. Okay. And he'll 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 pick her up by the like the leg and just carry her <laughs> upside down like yeah whatever what we're going to bed. <laughs> so so Shadow eventually finds her way being led or directed by the um, owner mm-hmm. and on Entering the room, we quickly fade to black. Cool. Um, Tim with the two kobolds, the um, Mok being sober grabs, Achkat being sober grabs Mok, drags him, drags her to the one bed, and they each curl up on the bed and start snoring. I'm not sure what Tim wishes to do. So Temujin, just before they get in bed, will kind of growl at them in Inferno and sleep. Roll intimidation for me, please. Uh, that is going to be... Where's intimidation? That is going to be a solid 30. Well, they're intimidated. (laughs) Infernal works. Infernal. They they don't actually understand exactly what it is you're saying to them. But but, but they curl up on the bed and are too afraid to say anything to you. So... Grizz and Will, you each have your own separate rooms. Neither of you are drunk. <laughs> um, I will pay the barkeep eight gold pieces for trouble and for breakfast, and for the extra night's nice lodging for before the shuttle comes. Okay, just covering our whole so stay essentially. Is there anything specific anyone wants to do the following day? Mm, Is no. there an armor? No. There's mm. pretty much nothing I want here. Yeah. Yeah. The, the village's biggest claim to fame is the first four was born here. <laughs> so, so That's Tem- it! <laughs> Temujin will kind of try to sneak the kobolds away and um, kind of just let them run free of it. Sit all on fire, got it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, he so was the cow. I am. Timogen wakes up with a bit of a headache, but you do get your long rest. Grizz, will you get your long rests? Kark gets his long rest. Mok, Ila, and Shadow needs to roll Constitution saving throws. So, upon finishing my long rest, I will take one of the, you know those um, Kuatau uh, bones of this uh, calf? Mm -hmm. Um, We'll take one of them and I will do a spell storing on it for a uh, healing spell, cure wounds, second level. And I will build another kill meal. Very well. Uh, that's 16 for Shadow. Okay. Mm, not very good for me. Uh, 10 for me and... I'm assuming 9 for Mark. So, for Shaila and Mok, there's a token for you. Thank you. Um, you suffer one point of exhaustion, shadows of pain. So. Okay. And uh, then I need to take a long rest to get rid of this point of exhaustion. I'm going to go right back to sleep. 
So I'll, I'll put it out there. As Demogen sneaks the kobolds away to go have some fun, he'll let Mox sleep wherever they are. He'll, okay. He won't let her play around. He'll, he'll keep Cock busy. And if she wants to sleep under a tree, he'll leave her to sleep. I'm going to go straight back to bed, thank you. So, how much fire damage does the town take? <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 Timogen will stop him from burning down too much. He, will, well, he won't let him so run. Uh, there are open fields. Now, the, the grass and open fields um, surrounding Scorchview isn't dry. Because it's still the rainy season. So there's nothing really for him to burn. But he does find quite a lot of enjoyment from chasing around butterflies and the like. So he's not really running around burning stuff, but he is running around getting rid of his energy, being a little fucking kid. So, um, Shadow will, will not necessarily sleeping, but will snuggle up to Isla. Trying to comfort her and help her feel better about the, the Life. apparently massive um, novelist she is uh, enjoying. You me, Sorry, please. hangover that she is enjoying. Um, Kill me, please. So. There is one thing I'll do the next day, actually. It's going to just be quick. Okay. Uh, I asked the barkeep for some old food, and I go looking for feathers. Where is this going? Nowhere. Yeah, I don't believe you. I think he needs to fit up one of his spells. They, no, it's just components for spells. I'm preparing for the inevitable. Got it. The inevitable. <laughs> Okay, so, um, Anna and Mok needs to roll another saving throw. Constitution saving throw. Uh, that's worse. That oh, that's Anna eight. Or that's eight for me. Mm. Uh, that's a 15 for him. Her. I'll swap him. I'm not doing very well. <laughs> Help, how do I fix this? Put it down. There's the blood that's easy. I'm really not doing very well. Help, how do I fix this? So, 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 I mean, you, you are currently at the end of the day two. You still have the evening's rest until the vengeance should arrive. So, but so why isn't me sleeping not helping? Have you ever tried because to you had dragonfire whiskey. Have you ever it's tried to sleep with a headache? You don't get a, a lot of sleep. A <laughs> shot of dragonfire whiskey. Yeah, but the last... Very, very nearly killed Chris. Yes, and the last time I had a shot, I got a point of an exhaustion, and then I slept, and then it went away. You probably rolled good. Hmm? You roll e at the end of every long rest un until you manage to save it. Good news is you don't roll at this advantage every single time. So, evening comes, the end of the second day. Uh, Timogen and Kark running around, guys grabbing more food at the tavern or the inn. Yeah, so so Timogen and, and more bacon. He'll, he'll he'll grab Mock with him, um, get her strength up and let her eat as well. Mm. And he'll mock. Oh um, mock, fair yeah. enough. So Cock is fine, he'll bring Mock with so that she can he'll make her eat. And then he'll just order um how, how much more bacon do you have? You cleared us out this morning. What other stuff do you have? We have some dried and salted meats. Uh, we did have a little bit of fresh green meat, but we're waiting for the vengeance to bring in more fresh produce. 
Um, beyond that, not really all that much. Where can I go hunt the baker? Uh, you'll have to wait for the vengeance to get back and hope they give you passage to Ardmore as this note takes on this. I asked oh. for a bacon at the pig. Bacon comes from the pig. Do you know what a pig is? No. It's a type of animal. It's a fairly large pink, mostly made of fat, and as you've experienced, absolutely delicious. I will go hunt for pig when I get there. No wild pigs. Mm, you do, but they taste a little bit different. Pigs are generally kept by um, people and farmed. What what else do you have that is good in such a filling happy Well, if you like bacon, most other fresh meats will, will be enjoyable to you. And you'll take out a gold coin, I'll have those. <laughs> Very well. Takes a gold coin and, and brings you a fairly piled up plate of red meats, medium rare. You know, the, the, the good way meats are supposed to be made. The only way it's supposed to be there, I guess. As if I'm not there. No. 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 Smacking him upside the head. Why? Because I already paid for all of the meals for the next two days. But yeah. he doesn't know that. <laughs> yeah. I know. So, so he'll just <laughs> dig in and then make sure that Mock and Cock also get their full. Oh, no, no, they're, they're digging in. Okay. They, they don't really need to ask twice. So, so he'll just pick a table in the corner and have these two running wild through the black. Meanwhile, Shadow is still snuggling up to Isla that is not feeling particularly well after mm her -hmm. shots of Dragonfire whiskey. That's what say to so, evening, morning comes. I know if you want to try and save again. It's a saving throw, right? Yeah. Yes. Cool. Sub this. Mm. You need to beat a 15. I know. Feathers that I made. How many feathers that I? Probably oh, a hundred. Forty-four. Twenty-two feathers. So, can while she's looking, can they can start training the cobalt? <laughs> well, that depends. He'll he'll start with things like with the simple things like when he growls, it means they should back off and stop what they do. Right. Wrong intimidation. And old food. Mm, get about six, seven scraps. Seventeen. rations or just scraps in general? It, well, it, 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 it comes to a ration. Okay. Monk ignores you. Monk is a little bit intimidated. Okay. He won't try to, too hard to scare them. He'll, he'll just make it more trying to start training them. So, Anna, what are you doing to try and avoid this? Bless! I'm not surprised. I bless myself. I bless myself. Bless you. <laughs> Play one. So, how much? 21. By the end of what 
still throbbing but feeling way better than I did two days ago, go to the bar and, and, and ask for some food. And as you're leaving, she looks off, off you, not quite what I had in mind, but very well. So as, as they leave, she'll, she'll find Temujin with Mock and Cock on the table, and then every time he gives a command and one of them follows, he'll give the one that follows like a piece of sausage, like, good boy. <laughs> like. Target training with a dog. <laughs> Quicker training. Pretty much. Uh, he'll, how's he'll that working out for you? We have made some progress. They haven't burned anything down and they've been quite good. Mark, when he sees you, waddles up and hugs you. Cock looks up and smiles at you and takes back into his room. Do you mind if I still. Cool, I'm gonna. Get right onto my hip and go sit and be like, please, please, please. please. So we have eggs and toast. Yeah. We're printing our eggs. And sausages, apparently. Eggs so, and toast it is. So will, will Temujin hear what you said to the barbie? Yeah, we'll push that to check for me. No, uh, this is the next one. Yeah. The second morning, so this yeah, is the rest of the day. Yeah, so I'm, I'm there, so I'll just say, oh, you don't have to pay, I paid for all of the meals for the mix. That's for, for all of the time that we have. Yeah, you're here. So, um, we, they've had enough to eat, we've cleared out the meals. Mark, Mark and Doc and... You, yes, yes, I did see the giant pile of sausages in front of you. I did assume so you'd eaten it. Would, like there's, I, I still have some rations left for me. We'll, we'll first see how the eggs and toast deal with my body, my body deals with them, and then, and then we'll think about other things. Very well. And at this you'll like clean his hand on his right leg and then rub Cock's ears and go oh, It's more the scratching him behind the horns than mm -hmm. the ears. Fair. More scratching him behind the horns than go play. We cleared out the meat yes. as well. Is there still money on my tab? No, you're, you're fresh out. Didn't he pay for his own portion of the plate though? He did, but, <laughs> but Will doesn't know that. Yeah, Will, Will thought know. that it came off of his tab, so yeah. I was asking the bartender, and the bartender disliked him. Not necessarily. <laughs> Eight gold pieces. Uh, okay, Have you okay. had any idea how much meat these guys ate? Yeah, but they didn't eat off of my tab. Not all of it. No, Some of, mo most of it actually, yes. Oh, really? Okay, mm. no problem. <laughs> uh, give him another mm. two gold pieces. What am I bringing you, sir? Mm? Oh, no, not the It's just to cover the tab. Oh, no, 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 your, your tab is covered. Oh. So, and unless you want something else... Oh, no, I, I thought you... you you said my tab was finished. So. Yes, your tab is finished. Currently, oh. if you want something more, then you will have to pay for it additionally. Well, I'm just paying in advance for if someone wants something. 
From what I understood, you are trying to get off Glickiao with vengeance around today. Yes. So you're not planning on staying here, are you? No. So what are you paying him for? For service. if someone wants something. I'll hold on to the money until you leave. Okay. How far is the port from here? It's about a three, four hour hike. Hey. Okay. Hike. Oh, I'll well, walk down a pathway, man. Yeah, because I'm just like, okay. Okay, so if you want something no. before we go, seeing as there's no more meat. So, so, Demogen will break all the, the leftover sausage that he has, like one piece, into small bits, keep it in the satchel, and, and he's, I'm ready. Mm. Alright. Um, you can keep the money. Are, are, are you sure, sir? Yes. Oh, oh. Much obliged. <laughs> use it to whatever you would like. Um, is there something that your town needs? Not particularly. We're fairly happy with the way things are. Okay. Then we shall be off. So, the journey down to the docks is uneventful, with the exception of the two kobolds still bringing Isla all manner of bits and pieces of plants. I have no more coat to keep them in. Hold up. Slow down. So, so they, 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 they haven't really realized what the purpose behind it is, or which part we're looking at, i.e. Picking flowers, the genitalia of plants. Um, so they're, they're, they're bringing you random sticks and seeds and leaves. and Most of the time they're okay. Sometimes they're a little bit scorched due to how they acquired this bits of plants. Mm -hmm. but that is Slow down, guys. Just hold up, breathe. I don't need so much. They're very cool to look at, though. Um, also, you will all see me walking around with Tilmir. Hey, dog's back! Hey. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Forgot to mention that. Well, I mean, I told him I made it, mm -hmm. so... <laughs> Just forgot to be like, hey guys, keep in mind. <laughs> like, first, first yeah, morning I walk out with Tilmir, out of my room. <laughs> Did we get in back, or...? Mm. Is this a wolf? No. No. Is it approximately the size? No, of you wolf? actually know Tilmir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but he doesn't know what Tilmir is. He doesn't know is it a wolf, is it a dog, is it an elk, is it a cow, is it a like at this at this stage he is like more like a well, I don't know, like great dane in a certain sense. Dog Big base of a dog. Yeah. Okay. Size, obviously a bit bigger or whatever. But, yeah. Big dog. No. Taller, not necessarily bigger. Yeah. It's big. a red thing, tall, not big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. big dog. Very well. So, I mean, um, also, DM, I'll quickly want to find out something. Can I use. No. <laughs> 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 but that uh, bone that I car that has was carved, that I put the spell in. Um, is it possible for me to have it float around me using precipitation? Theoretically, yes. Let's discuss this first session. Um, Please, uh, safer that way around. I just really need the bathroom. I'll be back in a minute. Um, I, I really hope you don't need hand. <laughs> don't give me a hand. Please do. Flock of red hair moving in front of the camera. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are heading down to the docks. Ports, the yeah. docks. What did that add? Going to get here. 
Anything specific you're looking at doing? I want to see him freak out at the ocean. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of waiting for him you know, to get back. Also her. Yeah. You've never seen the ocean. Well, neither island nor shadow. Yeah. And I highly doubt you've ever seen that big boat. <laughs> no. I want to touch the butt. <laughs> touch the butt. She touches the butt. Yes. It's the longest raining session we've had in a long time. It just yeah. keeps going. Yeah, unfortunately the roof here leaks through so slightly, so I'm planning to make the end of that in the moment we're done here. I need to go check my front wheels to make sure they're tight and Luckily, the string was making the planking noises. Oh, that's so not good. No, not fine. Where is my... Are we going to clap for him when he gets back? Yes. <laughs> You're tapping too much and it gets bad. I think the chair is in order as well. Yay! <laughs> He's back! It's so nice coming from the bathroom after a good shake and getting applause. I love it. <laughs> and another massive red. <laughs> so, um, as you are approaching when Kavir, the port, the, you see coming down, now uh, Gwen, Gwen here is, is, is located at more or less at the mouth of a river that leads then into the ocean itself through a fairly long wide cove. As you're coming down the pathway, you know, you see coming from the side, uh, from, from the right side, to, um, from the ocean itself, um, Will and Grizz quickly roll me an insight check each. Insight. Fifty. Sixteen. You notice a ship coming in from the sea and both of you recognize the ship as the vengeance however you do note some modifications has been made to it what kind of modifications <laughs> they that breathe well and that's what we'll call it tonight <laughs> So can I play no, can, can, can I play Thane as an NPC? So you have to. So. Entering into Gwen Javier um, and looking at the ship more closely, you do notice that most of the ship has been covered in metal armor handling. Um which is the main modifications that's been made in the There are also a bit more additional weaponry along the sides, and you do notice that the beyond the basic crew, there is quite a number of mercenaries, some of which you recognize from when you were still in Rivergate and at fairly regularly at the guild. Some of which you don't recognize, but clearly are militaristic. Manning the ship. The Vengeance has become a form of armored transport. With 
somewhat more militaristic, very much um, mercenary forces in order to try and help protect it. Thane recognizes the two of you almost immediately. Well, good morning, sirs. It's been a while. Yes, it has. Funny to find you here. Mm, indeed, it has been a while. I see you uh, took to changing my ship a bit. I do, uh, it's been necessary. I, I, I do apologize. Oh, no, I've, I've heard about the... Uh, the, the like the term, the war on the ocean, so... At least it doesn't look too shit. There's uh, almost not a single voyage that doesn't go by without incident. Hence the, the mercenary forces. From the guild, I take it. Ah, naturally. Uh, uh, speaking of... Um, I, I, I have to... I have to let you know. Um, there's not... Really, a lot of money in the guild. We kind of used it all to armor the ship. Is that from what the guild had made you used to armor the ship, or from the account? Both. <laughs> Both. <laughs> all right. There's, there's no other ships, sorry. Right. Yes, no, I guess so it's necessary, it's necessary. So, we, we are making very, very good money, but... Um, I could kind of think that being the only ship. We're, we're, we're still making back all of that money. Alright. You, you and your decisions are to be made. Yes, sir, of course, I understand. Do you know? Why do you glare at me, though? He's yeah. playing the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking around. <laughs> sure you are. <laughs> how much money? How much money did I put in the Solomon's account again? Enough to own the ship. <laughs> I think I put like what like five hundred platinum. Do you have any idea how much metal is needed to cover? Oh yes, no, I'm just. I'm, I'm calculating how much money is has been. So, so not okay. Somewhat meta, but not all of it has been spent, but a large portion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of course. I'm just <laughs> getting my mind around. <laughs> so. Oh my money, God! The, the dwarf <laughs> looks around and, and and notices that the two drow women. And who are these fine young ladies? Not interested, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> as of as if I haven't been slapping the face enough tonight. Isla, and this is Shadow. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. The pleasure is all ours. And not you. Mm, yeah. Mm, okay. And your name? Fane. Fane. Nice to meet you. And who would you be? So Temujin's just staring at this damn ship like... He's new. Um, down here? Real new. He's new to water. <laughs> kind of everything. <laughs> it's really pretty though. Hi. Good morning. This is shit. Yes. Have you seen one before? No. Well, you're an interesting fellow, aren't you? He hasn't even seen the ocean, so he can't. Well, you're in for a treat. We're going from never seeing an ocean to fighting it. <laughs> so, so, so you'll, they, you, you'll notice things. Tail uh, wagging. Thane's tail. Um, Temujin's tail like twitching, but he's he's quite agitated. Like he, he, his facial expressions won't show it, but with his erratic tail movement, you'll be able to notice. Like, 
Imagine. Yeah, I, I, I tend to think of tieflings more as cats. Yeah, so you can very much imagine it as a very agitated cat. Like, you can't necessarily see it in the face, but his tail tells tells the story. He can't control that. He's he's nervous as fuck. Oh, nervous. Okay. He's, he's very nervous about this. So, we, we just had to unload some goods, and then we're on our way. Um, I'm assuming you'll be joining us? Yes, you yeah, are indeed. Yes. Did you head back to... Gate. Well, that is the next stop. Uh, uh, you're a what? I'm a dwarf. So, Master Dwarf, um, you mentioned that nothing, not a vo- vo- voyage, goes by without incident. What type of incident? Wouldn't you like to know? Yes, I would. That's why I'm asking. Uh, we have some form of a fight with uh, some of the, the creatures from the water. They fight this. Yes. How? 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 How big are are they? Then? Um, average, but half the size of the ship. I'm staying. <laughs> At worst, no. twice the size of the ship. I'm, I'm. Don't worry, Mr. Timmy. Uh, as far as going on a voyage on an ocean, I believe the floating oh, tank the is good. Does he have to come? No, no, if he doesn't want to. But, I mean, what else are you going to do? Stay in the town, which you kind of take all the bacon and meat. I'll probably do it in water. I've never backed down from the fleet. You li- quite literally. Oh, we, we were just in delivered some bacon. You quite literally jumped into a void onto a beholder. I think you can handle a full wave. Yeah, but I knew it was waiting for me there. This is. Wait, I need to hear this story. Slayer of a beholder. What's a beholder? Uh, Big eyeball. Uh, <laughs> picture you, you, much like not to face. Uh, yeah, that's that's just most of it. <laughs> yes, uh, floating. One big eye, several small eyes on tentacles. One big gaping. Tentacles. Eye on tentacles, yes, but not ocean creature tentacles. More like weird ethereal tentacle creature. And I'll candles are magicals. Yeah, that was but not mm-hmm. fun. I'll give you tentacles. <laughs> no, thank you. Again, repeat further statement. Not interested. <laughs> um, and it cancels out magic. So. Um. So what the fuck did you do? And the worst part is that was so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck the rock at it. You know my exploding rocks. Chuck to rock at it. Yeah, it was her. Uh, her this one's her, idea. Her brilliant idea for me to throw some. I did. I regretted it. Very, very much so. Uh, big one. Why did it have to be a big one? It worked, didn't it? Right, are we back on the. Now I'm switching on the third. <laughs> are we, are we yeah. back on this discussion? Can. I've never backed down from the damn fight. Let me just get on the ship. It's fine. Yeah. I mean, if you want. Oh. Off you go. And Thane just looks down at his feet and he just starts walking. Like he'll he'll and look up right. to find the gangplank and then just <laughs> he'll just keep walking. And when he's on the deck, he'll he'll just stand and try to hold onto the railing, trying to get his sea legs. Oh yeah, and he also fought a mind flare. He was captured by a cult. Seems like you're good. The The underdark is quite uh, quite interesting, though the most damage I took was from fucking doors. (laughs) 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 Well, you didn't tell me you fucked the door. (laughs) (laughs) So is this me? Is this the mimic we encountered? (laughs) (laughs) Context is everything. (laughs) 
So was this the start of the <laughs> No, well, leave the mimics alone! <laughs> so, otherwise, I said, but vodka is made from fucking potatoes. I'm going to have to fuck them, no. I think you need to fuck them. Darling, what's this hole in our door? <laughs> time the ship has been unloaded and um, you are welcomed aboard by a rowdy bunch of mercenaries carrying a variety of mostly ranged weapons. So Timogen is very uncomfortable by this. He tries to move away as far as possible from this from what he considers a very large tribe of monsters. Well, uh, I'll just, in a, a loud voice, just. <laughs> shoo, shoo. So who are you? Who of? <laughs> how many of you are part of my guild? Directly. Who the fuck are you? He's the owner of the solar. The owner. Congratulations of what? The guild. And this boat. <laughs> and <this> <laughs> <laughs> Maybe well, apparently burns. will fucking work for you. Yes, I would like to know how many of you are directly registered under my guild. We all apparently fucking work for you. <laughs> Thank you. Are you going on the so boat? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm working up the courage to it, and I'm gonna start, and how wobbly is it? Like to get up onto the boats. Um, it's not that bad. This is a very big boat. Cool. Uh, also, just and he's very good. He's going to just say, just these two have never seen an ocean. Have never been Three. on a boat. Three. Three have never seen an ocean. Been on a boat. Just make them comfortable, <laughs> and I'll walk into the captain's quarters. Um, at that that point, then yes, sir. Well, boys. We're gonna have some fun. <laughs> You're gonna get your sea legs today. <laughs> and Grizz just smiles. And, and, and <laughs> no, no, I don't like that smile, Grizz. <laughs> and I walk after work. Oh. Grizz, no, what, what do you mean? While still in the harbor, you notice all of the mercenaries move to the one side of the boat, and then to the other, back to the first. Yeah, after a while, you notice the boat start rocking. Uh, and the three of you aren't um, particularly feeling very well after a few minutes. So, so the shite takers are right back there. The he points to what? the back of the ship. That's the right. shite deck. And that is? Where do you go to leave yourself, my dear? Don't worry, I won't sneak a few. Which orifice? <laughs> 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 Which one do you deem necessary? Right, wonderful! Uh, I never <laughs> thought that would be a question when someone says, There's <laughs> lavatory. For which orifice? <laughs> If the one that expels the most. I am, I am sorry, this is, a, this is a number two only order. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 the number no one is that side, and anything else is that side. <laughs> male number one, male number two, male number oral. Female number one, female number two, female number oral. <laughs> After yeah. all the stupid shit that comes out of my mouth. There used to be a female three, but that, that was too infrequent for them to keep around. <laughs> in case of emergency, female three can be performed in female two. <laughs> oh, but isn't there a female four? Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Moving on swiftly. Yes, please. 
Like I tried to say <laughs> two seconds prior. So, you find yourselves on the ship. Um, Fane communicates that they will be le- leaving f- at first light and suggest you spend the evening on the ship so that you, if should you require it or want to do so, sleep in despite them leaving. Following morning, first light, vengeance leaves the port and sails out to the open ocean. And considering what time it is, that is where we will put it for this week. So, it's been a very fun session, very light-hearted. Somewhat more information than some of us might need it, but Monday. just a tad. Um, so, thank you for joining us. Uh, once again, if you are looking for some wonderful, lovely beers, go have a look at Draymond's. Um, if you're on YouTube, the link's in the description. If you're on Twitch, the link is in the chat. Or if you're watching this bit later on Twitch, the link will be in the description. Um, they also make the what we use as Dragonfire Whiskey, although their branded version is called Chili Whiskey. So if you want some Dragonfire, that's the place to get it. And then we shall be seeing one another um, next week for Curse of Strahd. That is happening again despite the gap from the previous session. Um, some issues there that's been sorted out. So we'll be seeing one another next week for Curse of Strahd and then again in two weeks' time for Isles of Adam.